Today and welcome into part two of my campaign as the Dunlendings in Divine Conquer Total War mod for Medieval 2. Uh, it's turn 17 and we've done a lot in 17 turns. We rushed straight from our initial three settlements south and we skipped Eisenrun, we skipped Derwath and we went straight to Falberg and then we fought Rohan uh, tooth and nail for Falberg, and it, it it worked. It worked, much to my surprise. We've then since taken Eisenrun and Durwath. We have also taken Bregnas, but we had to go to war with Andwath to do that, because, I mean, it was just too good a deal to be true, really. They had a custom general there and some chariots to be nice to get rid of early on. Um, it was it was a good a good little pickoff. Welcome in the stream. Um, it was a good little pick off. And, uh, but, but, after we did that, saw Gondor. I remind you of I've taken Gind and they are uh, 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 marching in a, <laughs> in an easterly direction towards one of my cities. And please, Gondor, think of the trade. Think of the trade, Gondor. <laughs> we don't. You don't want to do it. Just chill. Um, so we can get our two caveats back lord. there next turn. Yes, my lord. To support if need be. We switched in our useless general, and we put our custom general that we got, taking five settlements over into Eisenrun. Um, so if he dies, it's not too much of a loss. Although I don't really don't want him to die. We haven't got a garrison here yet, so it's just him in there at the moment. Um, otherwise, goblins have kind of taken around to here. This is still neutral. This is, yeah, it's all the same settlement. That's neutral. But uh, Andwath have over here, which means they do border us at Derwath as well. Um, so we do need to get some defenses here. Now, ideally, we want to... I'm trying to make this rebel um, so we can get some neutrals in there again. That's the plan. Um, I mean, do I even need him in there? So just stop something running and taking it, but... I mean, if they siege it, it's not going to rebel anyway, right? It's just throwing away 54 Lord, spearmen. I don't know. We, we got another unit spearmen coming out. We'll leave him there. Now, Rohan have been suspiciously quiet since we took Foldberg. There's been a couple of forces ca came over here, but I think there's something hiding in the trees here, possibly. Um, in fact, I might want to clear that out. The reason I say this, I mean, I've been having to think. We got the militia garrison in one turn, so I could leave these bandits behind or something, or these clan axemen, with the garrison. And I mean, honestly, we could just go take Guinea. Go take Guinea and maybe even the Hornburg. Like, yes, my lord. Like, what if we just marched on the Hornburg right now? Now, they get a big auto garrison there. I don't know how many troops are in there, but what if we could bait them to come out? You bait them to come out. We don't really want to fight the, the auto garrison. If we get them to sally out. See, we're within range of both settlements. It seems like too good a good... So hang on. If I just did... If I left this 45 behind... Right? Went like that. Went low taxes. It's not enough. It's not enough. Okay. Uh, can I get you over there? You don't have enough range. Loyalty taxes is not enough. So that means we do need to leave someone here. If I left you here. There's some mercenaries. Ooh, that would make a good addition to this army. Is there something? Yeah, let's cancel that. Um, let's get those Rohirrim. Yeah, that, that's, that makes a big difference because we can do some scouting with them. Um, the left him behind. Is that enough? It is. And then bring him with me. So I'll leave him behind. Now, he's concerned there's lads hiding in the trees here. 
I just do a little bit of scouting. As you wish. By your command. As you wish. It is. I mean, that's. What if I just sieged it with a unit? They'd sally out, surely. Yes, my lord. Is this a castle? Or is a citadel? Your orders, my. I mean, I don't know. What's further over? My spy. Him back. I need him over here. Um, there could be armies. I'm not seeing anything. Yes, I know this is like. Just feels like I'm. I'm just sitting. On, I've got my biggest force here, and I'm not doing anything with it right now. Like we could get back into Folberg. Um, we'd go back, but this is just a little bit too good to be true. Like there shouldn't be a big auto garrison here. This is the faction air. Um, looks like some just peasant militia. Your orders, my lord. What if I? S I want them to sally out. Mm -hmm. oh, I could cheese it a little bit. <laughs> orders, your will, my lord. Oh, what have I sent? Yes. You lot over here. To siege that. I mean, this is so risky because I'm sending them without a general. Marching to war, beginning the siege. siege Went to siege that, halting, my lord. and then yes, my lord. And then I do a little bit of, I do a little bit of cheesing. All right. As you wish, to war then, laying siege. That's how it is. Goes as your orders, my lord. And then. I go to here. Yes. Alright. It's a little bit of... Just a little bit. Maybe it won't work. We'll see. My lord. Yes, my lord. Um... Because I, I feel like we need to do something. Because if Gondor hits us here, we're, we're in all sorts. I would really like to get my eight settlements as well. Right, if we can get eight settlements, um, then we get our we get the script completed. I'd, I'd really like to get that done early. Two thousand three hundred gold. Can I use two thousand three hundred gold on anything. Probably just save it. I'm gonna need it here. Okay, Brisbane Baron, welcome in. Okay, I think. Yes, my lord. So we're trying to get Stop map information here. off them. We'll sell map information. Okay, let's... Oh, this is so risky. Like, this this has just been left hung out to dry, basically. If if they send really anything to us, we have to just hope that the, the morale holds. Um, let's, let's see it. Okay, we gotta retreat. We can't beat that. We can't beat that. <laughs> I'm not sure we could even beat that if we sent the generals. Holy smackers. Okay. This is what... So they have had troops somewhere. <laughs> I mean, I'm tempted to fight it. That's a lot of cav. They're all just very Hiram. There's a cap... The cav archers are the issues. And the skirmishes. If, if those cav archers weren't in there... I mean, we might actually have a shot, as well as as well as the the general. Well, we're gonna have to retreat, and we might have to end up fighting. Um. We should retreat. So, are they gonna? The siege. Oh, mistakes were made. They came from so far away. Is there any way we win this? I mean, these guys are a very strong unit. 
we could somehow hide the cav and then just turtle right in the corner with the general and then somehow recharge to get a mass route once the jet once the captain dies uh I think our general our faction leader is gonna die because there's nowhere to nowhere to withdraw to. No, don't be controlled by the AI. My goodness. Um, oh, man, this is so punished. I should never have left my settlement. I've. Uh, I don't even not involve them. So if I. If I order resolve, I think I just die. Yagtrak is speaking in melee though. Yeah, I know. This is why I feel like there's a there's a small, small chance we can pull it off. Um, because there's a lot of cav. What's Urkenbrand? There's a small, small chance we can do this. So, is there any? Tr There's not a single tree in sight. Shh. No. We need to hide the cav. Um. So. I mean, this is a nice little spot here. But where's our re our reinforcements are going to be coming in from? Over here, I think. Sure. We've got to find a little corner and try to sit in it. Um, we don't want to be tired either. I think our reinforcements will come in from, from over here. So, sit here maybe. Can you even hide the cab if the general's in it? Oh, yeah, probably not. Probably not. The enemy have brought up more men. Okay, so we're coming in from here. So yeah, we're not going to be able to get over to there. Um, even if we could, he's right there. So if we hide around in this corner, hopefully it should. Um, Okay, so what we need to do, we got, we got to keep this cab alive. Somehow we have to make them go for, for the general. Start going that way. Um, okay, at least the general will be hidden up against the edge. Okay, can you get over here? I'm trying to get right up on this ridge here. Love a high ground. Keep it nice and compact. Okay, get up to there. Now we gotta keep this cab alive. Now, can we retreat? We can withdraw, but I feel like it said withdrawing was not possible because there was no retreat. Well, I guess maybe at the last second we can withdraw if things aren't going well. I mean, these guys are a very strong unit. Question is, how strong? This is good. Just run a little bit. Like, we're dealing... 
like in the front, which is mainly what they're going to be in, hit by. We got 17 armor and like 29 defense. It's very high. Mainly against cavern peasants. Okay, this cavern needs to stay alive. Don't get within range of them. Because you need to recharge the hell out of them. Okay. So... Got a little bit of a high ground advantage. So I have to... F oh. They're moving. Now, we could try and charge into these guys. They, they are just an archer unit. And of course... I feel like if our general's gonna die, we're gonna kill their general as well. Standing out on this flank. Is it worth... I feel like we can deal with this at the end. Bro, an axemen are kind of dangerous. Yeah. Um, like, I think I gotta prioritize what we're gonna shoot. Like, I don't want to bring him over if he's just gonna sit there. So, we gotta prioritize what we want to shoot. Don't care about the archers. Don't care about the spearmen. Um, there's no riddle mark axe, I don't think. But there is just an, an axeman unit. This one here. So that needs to get shot. Well, they're coming in. That's the unit that'll bring us down. Hey, but I have really short range anyway. Kind of wondering whether I should pivot my... Hang on. I'm just going to pause. How much range? We still have a bit of range. I'm kind of thinking whether I should pivot myself around. The question is with pivoting, what it does is it does open my flank to a charge and my general just dying. I think we just got to be content with this. Um, like this outer edge here is going to get a little bit hit to begin with. But once melee starts and they start turning to fight, it should be okay. And yeah, we can't get them interested in this cav. Like this is just, it's got to be like, a, like these, are not, these guys are not even like here, right? Just ignore them because we lose. We lose, they have too many cav. We have to be able to recharge when it looks like we're about to break them. This is the captain here. He's got to die, but he'll die to the, to the spears. I mean, if you're in range, feel free to start shooting. It's okay. But when the axemen are in range, we got to shoot them. The archers won't do much to us. They can fire all their ammunition. It's... Can't do a whole lot. Okay. I think they're going to be in melee before I even get a chance to. Actually, the skirmishes are they armor piercing? They are. Um. I hopefully they'll just run into melee. No, they're stopping. Quick, come on, come on, get in. No, that's a problem. That's a problem. Yeah, they're they're gonna. Need something to block their, block them from throwing their javelins. Javelins are roasting us. At the end of the day, they are still cav. So once, yeah, get the peasant militia in there. Come on, shoot these axemen while you can. Yeah, we're getting javelins are roasting us. Okay, but once once they get in, the javelins should be stopping throwing a bit. Light your spears. Spears out. Yep. Okay. Oh, we're getting. Oh shit. Going for the them. Course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. Oh, the javelins. The javelins are hurting. Okay, we're gonna go for their general. He's on the other side. Cause they're coming for us anyway. We may as well try and get a general kill. Turn, go, is that? Yeah, okay, we've at least killed their general. Okay, now get out of there. Get out, no use fighting there. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Run, 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 run. Okay, things have stabilized with you all, thank God. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Because it's just peasants in here. Our foolish general uh, thrown his life away. Sucks. This is not it's not going well. It. We gotta get away. 
Oh, he somehow got caught. Keep running. I mean, I'm going to go for a recharge sooner rather than later because we're... He's not going to hold. Oh, where is their general? Where is their captain? I mean, if I knew that we're drawing... They're running out of things that can hurt us. Ah, shoo, 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 welcome in. This is not... I've made errors. I've made serious, serious errors. Errors were made. And we've drawn away the skirmishes. Um, but we, we can't, we can't fight it. Like, we're gonna get caught here, so I think what we need to do is just go for a rear charge while we can still... Um... While we still have some numbers. They're gonna cut us off. We're getting caught. We're getting caught by the peasant cav. Fight. Fight. They're gonna rout because the captain's already died. Okay. What we really need is for their... Just kill as many as you can. See, once once the javelin stops throwing, we've kind of not lost... There's the captain there. Kind of lost not a lot of troops. It's, it was mainly the javelins that hurt us. The armor-piercing missiles were was a brute. We've lost half of our men. Dodo woke... Um, oh, sorry. It's different colors. Do me in. How are you say, Dodo? Okay, so the peasant militia is almost broken. This is the captain here. Don't care about the archers. It's the axemen we need to shoot. Okay, there are other cavs coming back now. Okay, they're just running in. They're running in. We're getting tired though. We do have the slight hill advantage. It's not insignificant. Okay, so we guys need to reset. Need to reset. Nice and tight. Right in that corner. Like that. No, I told you to... Ah, oh, shit. Oh, we just got charged in the back. Still think there's a chance we win this. If they, if they send their general in to die, but I don't think they're doing it. Oh, the other one's here. My general's at the front now, that's not good. But this is all kind of fine. Like, we'll kill, we'll kill most of this. These guys will kill us. That's that's a problem. See, so it says we can withdraw, but I don't trust that. I think it'll kill us. It said we had nowhere to withdraw to. We're running away. This is the general here still, is it? Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't run in. He's being smart. He's being smart. My general is in a very compromising position right now if they charge Cav. Like that's that's very, very bad. Fine against the peasants. Okay, stop, 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 stop. We need to reform before everything gets here. Okay, we need to get up on this hill, get the high ground. And we need to be up here in a little freaking corner. Alright, this is the only way we possibly win this. 
like this. Shields forward. Stop firing. Stop firing. Stop firing. And then run to there. Like that. Run, run, run. Oh, everyone's so freaking. Get the shields forward, get shields forward, get shields forward. Come on, come on, come on. Get, get up there, get up there. Shields forward, shields forward, shields forward. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shields, 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 shields. Hold your ground. Okay, then, then fire once you're in position. Shoot these guys. They're right in front. They're shooting you. Half the enemy force These guys remains. can kill us in melee as well because they're decent. So we gotta shoot them. The axemen are still over here. I'm wondering whether I just shoot the axemen. Actually, just shoot the axemen. More of a priority. We're under attack! We're under attack! Pretty sure they don't have. No, they're not effective against armor. These guys are effective against armor. They are kind of slowly killing us though. Maybe keep shooting them. They are point blank. It is a it is a good target to kill. Yeah, there's barely any of them now. In fact, what we'll do is let them stay there, because I think when they run out of ammunition, they'll charge with the rest of the army. I think they're like skirmishing. So what we want to do is we don't want actually this to rout. Let them stand here and shoot us. No, no, no! Don't shoot them! Don't shoot them! Shoot the axemen. Let them stay. Let them stay. They're barely going to do anything to us, but they're going to use their ammunition really slowly now, which means I don't think they're going to run in, and we need to shoot this Axeman. These guys need to die. Spearmen, peasant spearmen are not an issue. They're an better spearmen. Where's the... Where's the is the general here? It is the general here. Okay. So he's the next target. Although he should die if he charges in. How are we? We're exhausted. Oh. Come on, keep shooting these axemen. They are priority. They need to die. Hitting some, hitting some peasant militia in the, in the process. I'll take that as well. I think once they get down to like 30, we'll stop firing. We'll go for a different target. Okay, can we shoot the... Can we level out the spearmen a little bit? Yeah, and we might actually hit some Axemen while we're shooting these guys. Because this is a good unit, and they'll hold fairly well. So we just need to lower their numbers. See, this, see I'm, I genuinely think they're not attacking because these two guys still have ammunition. So we let them keep firing. And don't kill them. Actually, this is a dangerous part of the battle because I'm actually starting to believe. 50% of ours have been killed, 63% of theirs, and they've used all of their javelins. That was their biggest their biggest threat. Kill these spearmen. I think when we get them under 100, we then switch to the general. Okay. So now, I just don't want to accidentally kill these, um... These... Um... Archers. Couple more volleys. We've got plenty of ammunition because we because we use the ammunition of all the of all the dead ones. All right, this is the general here. We want to kill him. Now, hopefully, don't hit, don't hit these archers. 
Okay, they should they should melt. They're, they're close, plus the very big targets. Now, if we can kill this general, this captain, before the enemy are badly bloodied, they have lost half their men. Time is actually kind of running out as well. So we're going to win on timing because they attacked us. And we've killed the general in the settlement. If we actually win this. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run oh, That's down. those ones. Kill the general. Will they charge in? Okay. Okay, that's the captain the dead. General lies dead. Oh, okay. Um, uh, now, fight, hold up, hold up, hold up. Fire at the, fire at the, where are they? Axemen. 17 Axemen. Shoot at those. Yes, yeah, so now they're running in. Shoot the Axemen. Kill those Axemen. They're running through. Don't let them get close with the high numbers. Fire again, another volley. They should route because their captain's gone. We're under okay. Just hold, 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 hold. Fire. Fire at these spearmen here. They're coming next. Has a militia, shoot at them. We're under attack. Okay, the final final assault's coming. Okay, spears out, lads. Now, the only threat here now is if somehow our general dies to a cav charge. So, as long as he's protected. Sending in the peasant militia. As long as he's not at the front, but generals have a tendency to work their way around to the front. Might even just need to very quickly organize this if they route. Where is he? And if this caveat charges from here, he could easily kill the general. Wait, as soon as... Uh, as soon as they route, we need to reset. 50 seconds. Taking it to the wire. I mean, I think we win on time here. As long as the general's alive. Is that? Kill as many as we can. The day has ended, and with it, all hopes for our enemy. We have vanquished our foe. This is a victory all Christendom will come to know. <laughs> okay. That, that might possibly be my greatest ever victory. I mean, if the timer didn't run out, I think, I think we've got them. As long as, <laughs> as long as the general doesn't get hit by Cav, um, I think we've got them. Because everything dangerous to us, we've dealt with. Anyway, so they're going to retreat back. We lost the Rohirrim unit. How much did they, yeah, none of it. So we lost the whole Rohirrim unit. Uh... Ten of them survived. Maybe they lived. And we killed their... Their general, Erkenbrand. Yes, definitely execute. Yeah, he's going to run back to there. Oh, no. Well, with victories come defeats. <laughs> we can't retreat anymore. Now, there's a possibility we win here. We got a lot of pikes and spears. 
And they got a lot of cav. The issue is, once again, the, the archers, cav archers, and the skirmishers. They got two cav archers, three cav archers, and a skirmisher. So those three cav archers are going to rip through everything here. Particularly the pikes. Like, this is all low armor. This is what these, this is meant to kill. Um... I wonder if we can position somewhere on the battlefield that Two arms, men. somehow for negates their their cab archer fire. Units, await my orders. See now, in the trees, would can maybe be okay, but that gives us. This is way too open for flanking. I think what we have to do is just corner camp again. And we're going to get roasted by arrows. This is that's the problem. If we corner camp, we're just going to get roasted by arrows. We're going to get roasted by arrows anywhere. There's not really... We can't do anything to them. They are all on horseback. We can't really do anything. It's all about whether they route. Whether their captain runs in and whether they route. We don't even have any ranged units. So, if you're in this formation, Move out. Move out. shields are still forward, but you get shot. Oh no, shields Shields go out the direction that you're facing. So that's really bad for the cab archers because they're just going to shoot in and hit in the back. So we don't want that. Um, now, this is a bit of a hollow here because they're trying to shoot me from like here. Unless they just run up to the top of the hill and then smash me down. And that's not going to... Oh, is there any other hollows... And this is on a bit of a hill in the trees. Would be slightly better. Um, if we set up here. A little bit harder for Cav to charge through trees. And it's... So this gives us the tree advantage. But also... It gives us the edge of the map. It's not as thick trees as in the middle. Although this is not really very thick either. It's pretty spring, pretty spindly... Spindly brush. Okay, I think this is where we set up. So everyone over here. Um, and then we'll get ourselves organized once the battle starts. A little bit further over. You're the captain, so you can't die. If you die, all is lost. Um, pikes, defensive. Okay, so let's just... Get ourselves organized. I'm doing a lot of pausing today because <laughs> because we are in... So if we just set up just below... Now, I know we don't get the high ground advantage, but that's not the issue. The issue is... The issue is the cav archers. If we set up just below this, this lip here, right? Like that. And then we have... Unit of Spears kind of like guarding this flank. And then I'd really like them to fire at these guys, right? I chuck them at the front, let them fire at them. Then have the general kind of in this little dip behind. A little dip behind. And then we have one more spearman to cover this flank. Now this spearman I feel like is gonna get ripped apart by archer fire because he's turning his side, uh, which means he's just gonna get hit by by everything. Um, you stay in the back here. Shields facing forward. I think you have shields. Hey, okay, fellas. Just run to position, then you can rest. Oh, man. The Rohirrim horde approaches. It's a lot of cavalry. Right, we've got to negate the cav advantage. Now, the, the cav archers are the problem. And skirmishes. This is why we're setting up in this little dip. Now, now we got to be a little bit smart about this. So if we go, go like this, I don't have the rally ability because um, he's got the shulkrum. Now, if they run out of, um, if they run out of archer fire, that's when we can go into into the shulkrum formation. Now it's Sending these guys out the front here because what we want is we want them to get shot, right? Over here. We want them to get shot. 
If anyone gets shot, we want it to be them. Uh, a little bit. You just pivot a little bit. Like that. Just give it a touch. Now they are attacking me, so we're on the defense. Are they not attacking? What's going on? Is it because they can't see me? Am I hidden? I guess they... No, they should be able to see a few of my units. The bandits could route before tanking enough harrows. This is true. I don't think they're coming. Now the question is... Have I somehow glitched them? Maybe with all the walking in the trees. I kind of want them to come here. Because I kind of feel like we can win. If we can get him to waste the arrows. Oh no, he's hidden again. Don't. Why are the why are the pikes not hidden? I understand why the pikes wouldn't be hidden. They're in the middle of the trees. Come forward. I mean this could be stupid. Maybe we maybe this ends up just losing the battle, but I kinda think there's a chance we could win. So I want them to come at me. There we go. Got him interested again. <laughs> okay, so thing is, will they just shoot these guys or will they charge at them? That's that's the next question. If they charge at them, then the whole point of this we just waste a unit, right? Um We we make sure those pikes are down, yeah, pikes are down. Still moving, yeah, they're still moving. Right for you. Come on. So spread right out so that arrow fire is less accurate. Even if they just tank the javelins, but I feel like they might just get charged. I mean, they're not going to be that useful anyway. No, no, don't hide. Don't hide. Don't hide. You need to get shot. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Okay. We're here, marchers. Are they just. Are they gonna shoot? Oh, they're just charging. Dang it. That's bad. They just immediately routed. Okay, that didn't work. Uh, that did not work. I mean, if they charge in, that's kind of what we want. Get in there, boys. Charge. Okay, you guys are screwed as well. You guys are screwed as well. I'm sorry. I left you out there fighting. <laughs> um, well, we we need him to charge in, charge in, charge in, charge in. Good, good, good. This is it. This is it. Uh, get close to the line. Close to the line. Oh, he's getting roasted. Come on, get in there, close to the line, but defensive. Hide in the back. Go over here, go over here. Check the captain. Another unit over here. Ikes are kind of doing it. The, the, the Still the issue is the range units, right? This is why we're in the little dip. This is what we hoped, that they'd fire from over the dip. But they're still hitting us. Okay, spears, come on. Take them out. That's the archers charging in, that's good. Come on, spears, you gotta hold. You're fresh, don't you dare break on me. Don't you dare, dare break on me. You're fighting Cav, this is what you want. Don't you dare break on me. Don't you dare break. We need their general to die. there. If their captain dies, I feel like we get a, a mass route here or something. Where is where is the captain? I'm gonna keep taking him out. This is what you guys are meant to do. Cav is, Cav is your speciality. Yeah, 
Protect this flank. Yep, straight onto the pikes again. Excellent. How are we going? Pretty even. Pretty even. But the thing is, they've got cabs, so they can cycle charge in like this and get value again. But if there's a unit already attacking me, then the cycle charge won't get as much value because I'll kind of charge into their own back. Come on, pikes. Yes. Your marches are close to breaking. Come on. Don't know where the captain is. Is he just hanging back, the captain? We're losing this flank. Losing this flank. Get over here, get over here. But you guys have to protect the, the captain. Don't let the captain die. Keep him alive. Come on. In here. Now these aren't spears, so they're not going to do as well. But we just need something to hold this flank. Get in there and help them. We can't let the pikes get charged in the back. Lost half of our men. Okay, I think it's time for you guys to turn around. Turn around. Tuck the general in next to the pikes. Actually, get over here. Get into get into Shulkum. Warm up. Just in time. Oh my goodness! Just in time. Okay, the captain's in the middle. Protect him, lads. Protect him. Form, form this formation. Okay, frig, it's, it's all on. Okay, you guys gotta get down here. Is that the captain? Okay, get over here, get over here, protect these guys. They're kind of going down, they need help. They need help. Warm across. Hold the line. They're very tired, but they're not shaken. This is good. Peasants are routing. Just kill them, kill them, kill them. Please, please, please. Get in there, get in there. They're breaking, they're breaking, they're breaking. If you're marchers, they're breaking. They're breaking! Behind, 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 behind. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Yeah, just, just every man for himself now. You s yes! Yes! Keep, keep the captain alive. Protect him, he's in the middle. Keep him alive! Okay. Formation. Formation. Okay. Okay, come on. It's not done yet. It's not done yet. Keep the captain alive. Oh no, he's 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 in the mix of it. He's in the mix. They're gonna charge it again. Turn around and kill them. Turn around and kill them. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. <laughs> we did it again. We did it again. Percentage of enemies killed 93% and battle. This is a clear victory. Damn, the long spears carried. I think our positioning carried. That little dip here. This little dip in the trees was enough confusion that the cab archers we weren't getting clear shots and they were kind of getting confused as, as units went in and out of in and out of um, being hidden. Hey, you talk about the long spears. What about this clan spearman? 219 kills. That was the one on the flank. 219 kills. They they did very well. Uh, 248. 274, 107, that was the general at the end.
Um, the bandits, they killed two. Good job, lads. I've never been so unpunished in my life. Like, I thought we are going to lose everything. And somehow, at the end of this end turn, we'll have killed both of their armies and taken the Hornberg. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Whatever. We got a, we got a garrison structure there now. Now, we'll, we're going to have to take the Hornburg, so that means we're not going to have the eight settlements straight away. If that doesn't rebel, we'll get the eight settlements this turn for the, for the script. Does that city rebel this turn? Hornburg siege, yep, that's me. Oh, we still have it. Glyhuen aids us. Dunland marches ever forward. Seven regions now number under our control. I think that was the end of last term. Such majesty has not been seen since the time of Wolf himself. With the wealth and territory, there are few who question the decisions of Wolf's line. After all, our king has proven himself to be a mightier military leader than any since Wolf himself with his conquests. But who in himself has seen enough and is convinced. An old veteran, the leader of the Toulouse, the Claren, clan of the boar. He is a firm traditionalist and has always advised caution. While no coward, he also does not advocate for alliances or wars that will do Dunland more ill than good. After all, there is little glory if Dunland is crushed and cowed. Yet, he has been convinced. A successful conquest has persuaded him to take the field, leading the firm and strong lines of the Wolfguard Pike. That's what we need. With that, the entirety of the Wolfguard now supports Wolf's line openly and is fully committed to once again risking their lives on the field of battle. For Dunland! For Dunland! With their might, what can stop us? For Dunland and the line of wolf! Okay, riding in Brednas. So that was last turn script because we got, because now we've got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, we, oh no, we've got seven. It's seven. What we need to do orders, my is actually, can you, I want you to get the trait for taking the Hornberg. So can you do engage. that? Glory, and then honor, occupy. Victory. My lord, yeah. our courage and honor so we've also got conquered. the Hornburg, which is a, yeah, I mean, we've got it. I don't know if we're going to hold it. There's a difference between having and holding, right? So I think that this will rebel if it's not sieged by the end of the turn. Now Gondor turned around. Did they? Where'd that army go? It's not, it's not Your sieging order. my settlement. Without question. As you wish. I don't know where it went. Couldn't have marched that far. Yes, my lord. Okay. What is it you wish to discuss? He has like me eight hundred gold or something. Hey, you should be able to give me more than that. Give me, uh, give me a thousand. I must say yeah, maybe they know where the, maybe they know that we have the Hornberg. They probably got a notification for that. Well, they just have vision over it already. I'm not sure. Maybe they no, they shouldn't. Right. What have we got? Oh, 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 we have ourselves a settlement. Okay. We just need to hold this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Practice range can go. Caverns of Helms Deep. Tables, you know, you can go. Right. So what is lacking here is a mason's hall. Um, but I kind of feel like we need this militia garrison straight away. Let's let's get that militia garrison. I feel like with the militia garrison and the general, we can we can hold Orders. hold indefinitely, right? That's or at least with get some garrisons um okay so that's that's a no we're definitely not getting that so we're falling back but where are we falling back to Order. so the cav i know you can be retrained can you be retrained here command. you will be able to i think you stay here with with him 
And then... Hmm. It's culture-like here. Not as good as over here, right? So what we need over here is a uh, is a clan levy grounds now. Do clan levy grounds, and then I think what we do is chuck the. The bandit over here, and the rest of you, uh, yeah, go back into there. Okay. You approaching quietly. Have a look. I oh, well, that's that's two big armies taken out. Yeah, they've got some more here, but hopefully it's lower tier stuff. Um, ooh, that's fine. We'll leave that. <sighs> they're gonna hit us at. Looks like they're going for Durwath. Um, I'm tempted to throw the good general back in there again. Can we get any more mercenaries? Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Because though we couldn't defend against a half stack of Gondor, I kind of feel a bit more confident about defending against a stack of them. Yes. Uh, particularly if we get some reinforcements there. They're not going to be there that turn. Yeah, we, we need we need garrisons. We need garrisons everywhere. So we'll save gold for that one. Is that more important, getting the garrison, than it is getting the clan levy grounds this turn? I could do garrison, get it going this turn, four turns away. Um, and then land levy grounds over here. See, the plan was to take get to Guineard because then we could just defend one settlement again, and we could we could culminate our troops, but. I mean, we, I think I think we got to be happy with what happened. <laughs> I think we've got to be happy with what happened because we're... Yes, my lord. I mean, they could swing around to Eisenrun, right? Uh, no, not at the moment. No, because they don't have this one. So no, Eisenrun is currently safe. Your orders, my uh, lord. Which begs the question. Do I give this up? Yes, my lord. My lord. What if I will only address you in your orders, my lord. So what we can do Orders. As go you to wish. here. March to exhaustion, continuing later. Orders. Lehuen. So he is a wolf guard pike. That is very helpful. Um, do you have any pike generals are notorious at getting themselves killed because the pike units hold their line and then the general just wonders around. I mean, for the for the absolute talk up he got, look at this guy. He's useless. He's absolutely useless. He's a night fighter. That's probably the only decent thing. Um, and he cost me a lot of money. Very right, gold turn. But we need to get you to the front, uh, so you can help out. I mean, you yes. could, you As could you probably wish. hold Bregnas. We have marched our limit. At least you'll get access to our hero units in those two settlements. Yeah, I need to get the Frekalinga barracks. I remember get Frekalinga in Rohan and get uh, Dunherd in in Anadwyth to get the better units. Yes, my lord. So they're two away. Hey, so what do we realistically need to defend this? Your orders, my lord. We need probably a ranged yes, unit. Lord. They can be retrained there, so you can go. Um, let me throw those bandits in. And maybe... Your will, my lord. My lord. And pikes. So you can come to here. And you'll make it there next turn. Okay, that's fine. And then we can turn around and save Bregnas, right? It's almost saved just by low taxes. Um, yes, my lord. We're gonna have another spearman here. Your orders, my lord. Or 
orders. Your will, my lord. Hmm. Can you get Anadwyth troops in Dunland itself? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's got to be in the Anadwyth regions. It didn't show up in my barracks when I looked through them. I think we send all of that to there. For now. Okay, so that'll... Um, pay normal taxes. Pay the wall. Yeah, how much gold are we getting next turn? This is worth... 1,125. Okay, so Byrig is well defended now. It's, it's got the military garrison. Um, I think we can probably get this here, but then we can try and get the militia garrison after that. We just need garrisons everywhere. We, we got so many front fronts. Um, that's going to be our way to defend, not with troops that cost money because we can't afford it. Your order, I'm still, I think if we're going to have these troops here, we do switch these generals over. So put him into there and yes, put you in eyes and run. Now let's do that. Z is the the better fighter. Um, and if we have troops there, then yeah, then we're we're fighting for it. Okay. Uh, where's my diplomat? Oh, we've already done this turn. Well, my lord, you're probably gonna end up there. Um, can I get you out to put down a. Tower. Yes. Go to reach back. With honor. This tower will keep vigil over the land. Yeah, that'll give me a little bit of vision there to work with. Yes, my lord. And then the spy my can lord. go in to change culture. Impossible, my lord. Yeah, get back. Now, there's still neutral there at Fangorn Forest. You can just see the corner of it. It's still a neutral sediment. Which is kind of what made me want to go for this play. So although they still haven't taken the neutral settlements, they must be struggling. Hornberg lost. Okay, Dol Emroth expands. Okay, here we go. Our might is proven. Turn 80. By turn 80, what do we do? At turn 19? Turn 19. You would board a Loth Lorry? No, I don't want to take it. <laughs> I don't want to take it. I was just saying Rohan hadn't taken it, which sort of tells me that they're struggling a little bit, that that initial hit of losing all their troops really hurt them. Um, it is done. I'd say it's far from done, but it is done. We've risen to the challenge of the White Wizard and have not been found wanting. The warbands of Dunland have marched forth and proven our might, and now Dunland has reached a zenith not seen since Wolf's time. And we stand united. Yagthrax Gamble, thank goodness he's still alive, has paid off. And, uh, and the Wolf Guard now fully supports Wolf's line in their alliance with Saruman. Wow. Nice. Oh, it's called Frecker's Bastion? Wow, that's cool. Um, Freck, uh, alliance with Saruman. And Saruman has repaid us in kind for our efforts. He traveled personally to Byrig and met with our king and the Wolf Guard. He praised our efforts and claimed he had never doubted us. <laughs> he now has issued us another task, of course. Something that we have long planned to do anyway. He wishes for us to march against the fortress, fortress of Helm's Deep itself and crush it. And he has promised us aid in our war. We can now muster the Orthanc Guard and Wardens from the High Brennan's Roost. And Saruman has dispatched further aid. In his tower, he has created warriors foul and strong in the shape of orcs. He has called them 
the Urukai, and rumors speak. He has used sorceries most great to fashion them from the very earth itself. He has dispatched some of these warriors, led by the strongest and mightiest of them, a champion named Lurtz, and we can command them in our campaigns to vanquish Rohan. Do we get Lurtz? We must now march against Helm's Deep itself, and there is no doubt that sacking that fortress shall bring us yet more rewards. Helm's Deep must now be controlled by Dunlin to continue the script. Uh... Helm's Deep is no more! Saruman, you ask and I deliver! Ah, <laughs> uh, you said, you said to take it. Um, you didn't expect to do it that fast, did you? We march to Helm's Deep itself. For Saruman, but more importantly, for us. The Fogel named it after their king, Helm, in remembrance. They praised and respected him. They lie to themselves. Helm deserves no such remembrance nor respect. He slandered and murdered Freka, Wolf's father, apparently for the crime of proposing a marriage between Wolf and one of Helm's daughters. Wolf told us that Freka saw it as a way to bring peace between Dunlin and Rohan, by having a king of mixed blood one day sit on the throne, and even claimed that Helm's daughter was not opposed to the plan, which he found Wolf charming and intelligent. Wolf labelled his father naive for expecting such foresight from the brutish Helm who sat on the throne. It was this that drove Wolf to, free to, Dun to flee to Dunland and seek sanctuary. Of Helm's daughter we know little. Our legends suggest she betrayed her father to aid Wolf in his escape and was punished for her efforts by being forced to marry a Gondorian nobleman and eventually perished in the chaos of the Corsair invasions. Helm met his death in the wastes outside the fortress that now bears his name. He died as he lived, a brute with little compassion for others. During the long winter while our forces besieged the deep, he stalked our camp as a, to as a troll, clad in white and ripping men apart limb from limb with his bare hands. When he had little food, he consumed our own men ripping into their flesh. Mercifully, he was then found frozen one morning, and our legends speak that Wolf met him in single combat and dispatched the fiend. Such a savage brute deserves little remembrance. No more shall Helm's Deep be called as such. Let it be named Frecker's Bastion instead. Let Wolf's father be commemorated in his Helm and let Helm's memory be stricken from history. We have succeeded. With the conquest of Frecker's Bastion, we have captured armories that can allow us to equip new units of the Wolf Guard, training them from cities with such armories. And Saruman has further rewarded us, granting us the knowledge to forge finer armor for the Wolfguard, allowing us to equip them in the plate that he has devised in the forges of Isengard. The Wolfguard shall be mightier than ever, finer in both numbers and equipment. Yet we must press on. All that now remains between us and our ultimate vengeance is the conquest of Adoras itself. No longer shall Eos line, oh man, I can never say names, rule from the Golden Hall. The Golden Hall shall be no more. It shall be reborn as Wolf's Hall, and a Dunlending King of Wolf's Lion shall once more rule from it. Continue the script, Adoras must be under the control of Dunland, and Wolf's Hall must be constructed in Adoras. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff there. So we got armor. Your orders, my lord. I mean, this is a bit of a measly force. I was kind of expecting some some Urukai here. I mean, they said about Urukai, and we got Berserk. I guess Berserk is an Urukai, technically. Yeah. I, I mean, these are Urukai archers, Urukai raiders. I wanted the the mainline units. Okay. Um. Thanks, Saruman, for a few lads. I mean, you just could give me the whole army. You're not doing anything with it. Okay, so we're getting clan levy grounds here. I mean, how much does this cost? Because this would be better. I get that. Oh, Gondor, what are you doing, man? Don't. 
Don't do it, Gondor. Get into that. What are we? Three turns on the militia garrison. Yeah, so you make it to there. Yes, my lord. Orders. We kind of need here. Concealing the troops by your order. There's a little bit of advance knowledge that they're coming. There is no glory in hiding like this, my lord. By your command. Your orders, my lord. Yes, with honor. Yes, with honor. This tower will keep vigil over the yeah, land. Let's whack a tower down there. Yes, my lord. And also, Your because orders, it's very hard lord. to see on this hilltop. Yes. Back one there. This tower will keep vigil over the land. Okay. So we can see, see the border there. And we could chuck one about here, but I mean, it's not necessary. We've got one here. So for now, that's, I think that's fine. Don't attack Gondor. Don't do it, man. I will only address you in battle. Hmm. Right. My lord. You keep coming down to... You'd be much better against Rohan, wouldn't you? Orders. Go yeah, this way. By your command. I might Continue switch out. Tomorrow. He's pretty good. And these two are pretty good against Rohan because they're both counter um counter cav. Come down. Now what I want to know yes. is does Lurtz get a spot on our family tree? He he does not. He doesn't get a spot. Right. Uh so Lurtz. Do you see there's a couple of bandits here? And troops are troops at this point. I can chuck them in the forts. Um, so you four, can you just jump into this fort here? Or we don't want to send Lurtz. So he's a berserker yes, unit. Yes, my lord. And a biography plus six hit points plus one additional. Hmm. Lurtz would do well against Anadwyth and possibly Gondor. Yeah. Definitely not against Rohan. So I'm thinking maybe down here in this this castle. And that would free up this guy to go elsewhere. Maybe even hold Folberg while we push towards Guineyard or something. Um I think that with this these troops here, what we want to do is for them to be the advance force to attack here. So we've got four units here. They're on free upkeep. Good. So we get if we save a bit of money. Switch that over again. I'm changing my mind. Um yes, my lord. then come down to here. Yes. With honor. Yes. With honor. Your order. And spend the turn in there. Um my lord. I'm gonna get him over here. We have marched our limit. We get another gen okay, so now we get all thank guard here. All thank guard and all thank wardens, 14 turns away. Um yeah, we're just really lacking money at the moment. What we need now is I think we need to take a moment. No. Get this get the garrisons and then we build some tanneries in the back um i think it's reasonably safe there now with the with the excess troops i have around so let's get some tanneries um is there a tannery here as well any tanneries down here The tanneries are really good, so we need the tanneries. Um, just get the tannery going. Right. Wolfguard unit from Helm's Deep as well. Get 
Yeah, so Wolfguard, Axeman, Wolfguard, Pikes are available at Helm's Deep. Excellent. Uh, but we can't get them yet. Max available one. Doesn't have a... Doesn't have a, um... A culture amount, so that, that should become available next turn, I'm guessing. Should be next turn. Yeah, so next turn that should become available. And is that available here as well? Yeah, so we get Wolfguard, Axes, Wolfguard. It's just odd that the, the Orthanc Warden showed up, but the Wolfguard units didn't. Wolfguard, Axe, Wolfguard, Pikes. Right, so we definitely need to get them into production. Once again, we have forts around here to kind of throw units in to, to just get them... Um, get them built. Welcome in, Doofy. That's ah, oh, we sorry. Yes, we're gonna try and get money out of them again. Proposition for us. Eight hundred. There we go. Acceptable. Farewell then. Without question, I shall continue tomorrow. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Let's go. Eight hundred gold. Cheap as this tannery. 2000. Doesn't 700. Might just get that there. Okay. Maybe because you did two parts of the script in one turn. I hope it's not a bug. We must make a stand. We are besieged. No, don't do it, man. Ugh. It's like Gondor coming. I've got troops here. Kind of there to hold the home front. Maybe I should get them moving. They're still neutral, but I don't expect that to last yes, long. They're sending more wish. troops around. Tomorrow's journey they are planning out. on a war. Let's check see if we got those wolf guardians available. There they are. Nice. They're 19 turns away. Oh, that's a long, it's a long time. Oh, we won't have money for them till then anyway. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, we want to save for this. Don't spend anything. Get get that built. Um, what are we doing over here? The Mason's Hall. Oh, we could get the militia garrison here. So this looks like less threat at the moment. And we've got some calves, so we can do things over here. I want to get this done. So really, I just don't want to have to be concerned by this border, right? If I can get military garrisons up in both of them and in Byrig, we've already got, then that's kind of like that side of my my forces sort of looked after, and then I can think about economy in the back. My lord. Hmm. Maybe need it down Orders. here. Yes. So I should probably look as well since we got it. So blacksmiths now. Yeah, so it's just, the, oh, that's nice. We don't have to build an additional blacksmith. It's just at the, the tier three blacksmith gives us the superior chain mail. Okay, good. That's easy. Excellent stuff. Arrows here. Interesting. He's recovered almost back to 77. I mean, I haven't left a lot here to defend. 
Now, they can't reach there in one turn, can they? No, they can get to one square away, I think. My lord. By your yes, my lord. Let's can get there, though. I don't know whose turn is first. No, Anna White's turn is first, I think, then Gondor, which means they could probably see just straight away. Bit of a problem. But with all of those and alerts, we should be able to probably kill this army. I think. I'd be fairly confident taking that fight. Okay, save the money. Don't spend anything. My lord. Diplomats moved. Tannery is getting built. Ah, it's too much. Like it's too much money to move these guys out. It would be like seven hundred gold. Yeah, we can't afford 700 gold turns, so just sit there. Okay. Mostly Mordag fishermen. Falani Herders is the captain. A couple of Keefe Huntsmen. Can't remember what settlement type we're dealing Must with here, so let's see. Men. It's at least got walls. So they built a ladder. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. This is good. It's a good settlement type. Let's have a look at our Wolfguard. Dunlan's Axeman. Dunlan's finest. Look at these beautiful lads. Dunlan's finest. They are pretty good. Like, that's better than Lossenarch Axeman, I think. I have to compare them, but that feels. That feels better. That is, that is quite powerful. Um, 14 and 18. I guess, yeah, it's good XP, but... It's effective against armor, right? That's actually... Uh, that's a lot. 14 with effective against armor? That's huge now that I... Like, look at that. Hmm. They're very good. So. We got one ladder... One, who's coming up on the ladder? Some javelins, some archers, and then of course they're all hidden here because it's Anadwyth, you know. <laughs> they hide in the open field. We can't see them. Okay. Oh yeah, it's a nice spot for archers over here. So. Advance. You guys up there. Now these lads have pretty short range. So yeah, they're going to shoot to here. But, I think it's high accuracy. Yeah, high accuracy, but short range. Four missile attack. The Judane Hunters are, are a very good unit. If if they're in range. And Poison Arrows as well. As long as careful not to rat our own troops. But they go up there. Then we need something to deal with these lads on the wall. I'm thinking just... Like the bandits. They're the ones most likely to rout on the... On the ground. So they'll be the ones least... Like the... I want them on the wall because it's easier to not route on the wall. There's no towers along this section though, but it's a bunch over here. Um, so you go there. Now, realistically, we want, we want to get this guy involved. Um, just in the middle. Like, there's going to be some Falani herders that throw their javelins. I want to make sure that the general himself is fairly safe. So if we have him, like have him more slightly more this way, uh, then we'll have the pikes. Pikes will be here, and then. Oh no no! What am I doing? What am I doing? You're up on the wall. Up here. Uh, you fellas over here, just just pull back, like. Because realistically, we want the uh, we want the archers to do the work. Just activate the tower here, and let the archers fire over your heads. Right. 
for Dunlight. So three deep. And then go stretch out just like this. Which is made so the general is right at this far flank. So it's, he's less likely to get involved. Our enemy's ladders have reached our walls. It's time for butcher's work. That. Get the towers firing. Now, is there an angle for you on any of this? More dag fishermen. The enemy are battering down the gates. Them engaged in melee, so they don't throw their javelins down. Where is the fight? Where is the fight? Push forward just to touch. There we go. How are we going over here? Yeah, nice angle. Good stuff. I like this wall a lot because you can get some shots coming out. It's a nice angle. And then it's really good along here. If you have like multiple arches along this wall section, a really nice spot. Okay. You fellas hold that. You're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. Keep shooting. Kills here as well. The enemy's ram has breached the gates. Now, this is not really the issue. It's the Gondorian army that's coming after, which is uh, is is the concern, because they're definitely going to declare war on us. Welcome in, Artorus. The walls are no longer ours. The enemy have taken. Yeah, yeah, just get some more shots on them, and then hold fire, hold fire. Okay. Oh, they want to go up on the wall. That's fine. Let them go up on the wall. Bandits will hold there. Chop him down, chop him down. Just leaving the Axeman on stand ground at the moment. Okay, because... We don't want to get shot by the arrows. Take back our lands! They're routing already, my goodness. My... Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's That's a very accurate time. line. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. Uh, that is the most cowardly retreat. I mean, Poison Arrows does do it. And Poison Arrows and their general died. Um, we awed by the victory. Oh, we I, I should have. I meant, to, I meant to continue. Oh, we weren't going to kill them all anyway. Um, well, we sent them packing. We would have killed a few more though. I wonder if that Axeman unit kind of um, has some sort of. Like fear or something, I don't know. Gondor. Gondor didn't do it for now. Take Guinea. Yeah, I tried to. I tried to take Guinea. It didn't work out so well. It worked out. Not so well, though. <laughs> Okay, so can you Lord, now get into here? Dunland, if my memory serves me well, they are a full evil faction in DAC. Um, uh, they are an evil faction, but... I mean, you can backstab Isengard, right? You, you can kind of go chaotic neutral, almost. Um, we are playing it as evil currently. I mean, we don't really have much of a choice. We, Rohan is our our sworn enemy. Uh, and of course, Gondor is allied with Rohan. So, you know, it's pretty likely that we're going to end up in some problems. But uh, we, Edwith is, is here as well. I may have declared war on Edwith as well. 
<laughs> they took Bregnas. I wanted it. I need it for my, my eight settlements. Okay, tannery built. And then we got the military structure going. Now, let's get Tanner's Guild. We have the Mason's Guild house here, so we've got to utilize that. That's building. Come and get me, you coward. Two turns. Two turns on a militia garrison. Gondor, just don't. Just don't. Don't do it. My lord. Um, I can't get you in this turn. But I was thinking whether you're you're probably better against Rohan. So Right now, you're just costing me a lot of money. Is it 380 a turn? Yeah. Right now, you're just costing me a lot of money. Uh, I'm not ready to hit Rohan yet. So... I think I'll just sit you in the free upkeep for now. I'll move the bandits up to here. You're a little bit closer to the action. So that's just going to save a, save a bunch of cash. I think this is the next unit I want to recruit up here as the general. I need a governor. Um, don't really have spare money to spend on troops at the moment. We're going to have to make do with what we got down here. Isengard's leftovers and, and some bandits. Can I afford anything? We'd get something, but I think we're... Kind of saving up our money to prioritize certain places, which is the Master Mason's Hall. Two turns on this one as well. Uh, I think what I want here is a Master Mason's Hall, so then we can get the tannery going here as well. We we need to we need to try and be greedy here and get the economy up and running. Uh, but don't queue up yet because we want the other tannery to build. In terms of vision, I can't really put out any more towers. I think we're pretty set. Unless in the north we've got absolutely nothing. But uh, we're kind of hoping that it doesn't hurt us. Right, I think we're happy with that. I mean, their campaign, campaign objectives have good factions as their main target. Yeah, they do. And you have little incentive to go against Saruman and Sauron except for just for the hell of it. Yeah, unless unless you failed the script. But I mean, we, we finished the script on turn 19 and we had to turn 80. So um, we've got that. We've got that sorted. We must make a stand. We are besieged. I hate you, Gondor. I hate you with every fiber of my being, Gondor. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I said don't do it. Don't do it. Yes, my lord. As you wish. Without question. What part of don't I do it is hard to understand? Tomorrow. Stopping here. Just don't do it. Can get both of those there though. Be nice to keep those bants alive then. That's the Royal Swan Knight. It'll be nice to kill him. Um Hopefully it's militia. Okay, we got the Tannery building. Frecker's Bastion Big is God. under siege. They brought a they brought a ballista. Not sure I like. I got one turn off getting the militia garrison complete. I mean, as long as we chill and just play that smart, we'll be fine. I imagine they'll see just for a while, because they have a small army. Um, we could sally out. Eh, it's a little bit risky. They've got... They'd have to take that out. I mean, they've got two armor... Like, two armor-piercing things and another thing that would kill old mate. Like, I think we got extremely lucky before. I don't want to... don't want to, you know, use all my lives up on... On, uh, on the one guy. I 
And we're not making a lot of money there anyway. It's fine. We're still making 800 gold. Gondor is, is leading. Wonderful. Yes, war between Gondor and Dunland. Rohan and Gondor are actually coordinating on something for once in their life. And, and lo and behold, it's against the player. <laughs> Couldn't get two spoons together when I was playing as Cairn, but you know, when I'm playing as Dunland, they are on the ball. They're on the ball. Alright, uh, I don't think we can do anything else. Just, just waiting for the eco in the back now. We've done our... We've done our crazy push. Oh, they attacked straight away. How nice of them. We've done our crazy, insane push to get to where we are. Now we somehow have to hold... Hold it together. We attack! We get to defend Frecker's Bastion. With very limited troops, that is. Uh, now, are there any towers here? I think these are just buildings. It's a really cool looking settlement, obviously. But none of the towers. Oh, hang on, these are towers, apparently? Okay. They're towers. We're trying to get them to fire. This one's just a building, though. Yeah, I think they're just buildings. So is this a path? The pathing path is always weird on this one. They've got a ram. Do they have any ladders? They got a ballista and a ram. So they're gonna fire gate, I'm guessing. Um Can they go that way? No. So we're just gonna have the general here, and he should be able to win the day by himself. Um, I don't really see any need to throw away the bandits or the or the Rohirrim. Um, really, I mean, I'll have him. I'll have him in the vicinity in case things go bad. But I think it'll be fine. Can we stand in here or something? There we go. You're ready to ride out to meet them, right here. Um, they're trying to get these towers to work, wasn't I? Line up along the wall. Now, effectively, you're going to be used as as a uh, spearman here. Triple gold chevrons, melee and armor upgrades. Uh, yeah, he's he's been he's been in the wars. Brigands. I don't know if these towers actually fire. Um, I mean, if they're gonna. They're gonna march the they're going for the they're going for the wall. Over here. Get a nice side position on them. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Okay. Slow him down a little bit. Can I get back inside if I... Over here. Hopefully they don't chase him. Yes, they're coming back onto the equipment, so... We'll have to get him again. Are they aiming at the cav? Cheeky devils. These are javelins as well, so keep trying to keep trying to aim at me. 
Got a lot of units to hold? I mean, I do. I got plenty. Omega lol, I got plenty. Now, this tower's gonna fire or not? No, don't. I mean, I could chuck the lads up on the walls, but I can't just want them set up here. Um, it's really... No, don't fire, don't fire. Oh, run, run. Loose. So, I hear I hear ballista house firing. No, is that the ballista? Nothing's firing. So we're learning that these towers, even though they say the towers, don't fire. Right. Curses! The enemy are battering down our gates. Now, the Axemen are a bit of a concern. Um, I, mean, I could... I could hold a little bit further up, couldn't I? And get a volley off on them as they come through the gate, maybe? I'm just... I'm quite happy with the way my general's positioned at the moment. I'll leave him there. I think, I think we're perfectly fine. The enemy's ram has breached the gates! And yeah, they're, they're Axemen, but they're up against a unit that seriously outclasses them. Yeah, they should start running in now. Yep, go for this. Aha, I'm coming for you now. Right. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Got the attention of the peasant militia, that's good. Which way? The Axemen are kind of beating through. Didn't think that the Axemen would beat us here. No, we're, 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 we're killing them. Can you get... Yeah. I said get their attention, I didn't mean die. Goodness me. Badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. And we're one turn away from a um we're one turn away from the militia garrison here. But these guys can take casualties, it's fine, they'll recover. He's the general, that's why we have him. The enemy general lies dead. General unit is beastly? Oh yeah. Well thank god. Gotta use him. Gotta use him and abuse him. Okay, can we... Run. Get out here. It's a better position. Advance. Advance. No, 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 no. Go. There. Then on the downhill facing... Go to there. Now, just in case these towers do accidentally fire or something, get off them. The ballista's still alive? Move out. What? Spill the blood of okay. Oh my goodness, is he gonna kill my general? Please don't. Please don't. Fire, give him a volley, give him a volley, point blank. Okay. Fight them, kill them. Take out those. Okay, blister are done. All right, now I hit these guys in the back. Break him. Really? 
really hit in the back with their general being dead, fighting a superior enemy, and they don't instantly route. It's kind of, um... I don't want to lose the Rahiram. If I died to a peasant fucking militia unit, my general's kind of in the mix of it. He should be fine. Yeah, he's fine. He's absolutely fine. Let's kill him. Let's speed it up. Just come over here and stand close, because they might actually get a, like, a superior units. Lulwise, Dunlin is actually more on the grey area. The people got screwed twice or thrice by Numenorians and the allies. First during the second age by the Numenorean settlers who founded Tharbad and Londeir. Second by the pact Gondor had with um, the ancestors of the Rohirrims which deprived them of their lands again. And we encounter a third time with the war between Helm, Hammerhand and Frecker. So no wonder Dunlin was on the side of evil during the War of the Ring. Well even then they kind of like... My general is kind of in the middle of this. He's getting hit a lot. I don't like that. Um, now they're wavering. Surely that's enough to. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. The enemy. Even even he was kind of like Saruman, kind of um. Worthy of only the mightiest of. Saruman kind of stitched him upright. Um, with that as well, you know, a bit of a his quick his quick tongue, you know. Um, so even then it was kind of like a bit of a, a bit of a gray area. I mean, they were fighting for Saruman. Like Saruman was the white wizard. Like, the leader of the White Council. Like, if, if anyone could convince you to go to war with your ancestral rivals, it's probably the guy that is meant to be, like, the leader of good in the world. <laughs> you know, the, it, there'd be a lot of... You can understand that a little bit as well. Please don't siege again this turn. Oh, I'm going to have to break that siege. I have to break that siege so we can get the garrison built. One turn off. We stand vigil as the enemy surrounds us. Okay, so Gondor didn't attack. Come and get me, you coward. I mean, it should be fine. Just gotta protect the flank of old mate with the bandits, make sure he doesn't get charged. I respect uh, but we need we need to get this garrison up, so we'll have to sally out there. So, we've got the Tannery, Tanner's Guild building. So, we want to get the Tannery going in Duniard. To do that, we need Master Mason Saw first. Then we'll go for the Tanner's Guild there next. Yeah, very much prioritizing particular things to build. One's four turns away. One turn. So, if we, get, if we break the siege, we Let get it built. Which is really, really important. Battle. Yes, my lord. As you command. Okay. Let us go forth. Muster your courage, men. We march into battle. Units, await my orders. I want to keep you lads alive. Move out. I love the different color of horses. And like... Cut your heart out. Like different color of hair and stuff. It's just a... It's a nice... It's a nice touch. Face. 
You know, they've got yellow clothes, this one's got red red pants, yellow pants. You know, it's a nice touch. Slightly different shields. Particularly in lower tier units. Even in the high tier units, there's some there's a lack of uniformity. Which I'm normally a, a person who's keen for uniformity, but um yeah, it just wouldn't be it wouldn't be like that. Everyone wouldn't have the same everyone wouldn't have the same um get up. Some of these got like round shields, some of got like the square shields, looks like they've pulled it off the side of a fence somewhere. There's a little scratch on that shield already. It's already seen some action. I like those. I like those little details. It doesn't look like they're gonna stay anywhere near us, so we'll have to go out to get them. Uh, so we will approach. We'd like to shoot this one. That's the most dangerous unit. I think as soon as we start shooting, they'll probably come over. I mean, the skirmishers might come over and try and skirmish with us a bit, um, which would be good. What we want is, yeah, I kind of, I kind of want to approach from this angle. We'll shoot whatever we can get, really. Come to like there, and I want the bandits to be protecting the flank that the the general's on. No, no, no. No, why do you keep doing that? Just gotta wait to get at it. Now, not sure what militia units we get. Haven't had a battle with militia units from the garrisons yet. I... Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think it's the, um... They're pretty tight. Over there. Spill the blood of Rohan! Alright, these guys. They're just gonna run in, or are they gonna? They look like they're javelining. Take them out. They're the biggest threat. They're gonna run in after they. Oh, yeah, these guys are these guys are the threat. Take them out, and then they'll charge in. Spears out, spears out, spears out. Kill them. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Just gotta watch the general. Good. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. And now can you fellas swing around? Swing around like this. Okay, and then shoot. Attack! That's the general. Oh my goodness, that's a general in there. Okay. Get out! Oh my goodness, that's the general in there. What's he doing? Break this militia. Okay. Behold Good. how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press. Generals, if they get locked into combat, don't like to um. Don't like to get out. Even if you give them multiple movement commands, they just keep fighting. Take their blood. Chase him, chase him. This is a clear victory. Okay. Did we get I only oh eighty four percent. Uh it's okay. Killed most of them. But we get the garrison built. Really just gotta be careful with cav charges, even peasant cav. A peasant 
cavalry unit will kill my general on the charge. Um, doesn't matter that I'm anti-cab, doesn't matter my general's got like 8 hit points. Doesn't matter, he will die on the charge. Please, they always go to protect that, the flank that the general's on. Both get done this turn. Do that just in case. It's, 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 they'll both get done. Um. Alright. So we'll be set up for that. You. We're at sieging here. We're trying to get the economy in the back. And just keep the units in free upkeep as much as we can. And we're one turn away here as well. So we just need to break this siege and not be sieged immediately and we're good a diplomat your orders as you wish yes so Tomorrow's we're gonna have gondor planned out gondor fighting at durwath enidwath at bregnas and Durna, durwath and rohan at Folberg and freck and frecker's bastion so eisenran duniard byrig and dunlaric are currently our safe settlements but i mean when Hilarot gets taken, Dunyar is going to be in trouble, which is why I need to get a little bit built here. But this is the last priority. Um, after Dunyar. We must make a stand. That's fine. We are Got the garrison. Okay, here we go. So we got some Lemon and Clansmen. It's 23 of them. What traits has this guy got? Because whenever I play Gondor, this guy has like 13 or 14. What has given him? Is he like the faction leader or something? What has given him so much security? Nothing. And he doesn't have any retinue. How does he have... Unless that's been changed in version 5. Maybe it's been changed in version 5. He normally only used to get like 12 or 13 models. He'll be pretty tough to bring down unless he charges headfirst onto pikes. We attack! Okay, same setup as before, except we have an additional unit. Okay. So this will be a lot harder than the last one, Anadwise, because they didn't have a general. And, uh, and it was Anadwise, right? <laughs> Alright, what have they brought? One ladder, one tower. Okay. So. Which is this one? I think what we'll do. Put the... These ones over here again. Just hold them up. I think we'll put the Berserkers. Oh, Lurts. Lurts can do with the hey. Lebanon Marines. How you doing? Look me in Cranical. Ah, my Berserkers. Are my Berserkers. Now, as long as Lurts is... We've got to position him so that he is not like that. Uh, we want him at this end. We just need to keep fiddling with this until we get him at the right end. There we go. Alright, so he's now at this end. Now, admittedly, I would have liked him a little bit further over, but we'll just have to make do with that. Um, he's actually got the armor upgrade. That's that's nice. Got a little bit of armor. As long as you're at that end, there should be nothing that gets even close to you. That's good. 
that's one, two, three dealt with. And then we'll do the same setup as we did before. Pikes. So pikes over this side. Old mate with the axes in the middle. And we'll put the general quite wide. Do a lot more dying this time. We might go below 77. And then we'll have you fellas here. It's holding this tower. Actually, you know where I want you? Is here. To block anyone getting up to get to Lurts. Right? That'd be one way to die if they came in came in from this direction. Um Right. Spears. Where is the fight? Hey, you fellas. Spread yourselves to about there. And then we get plenty of angle for archers to fire. You get the general a little further over to about there. And then defensive. Well ground. Alright. Bring me a horse to skewer. Oh, angle last pikes actually need to go down. Let me shoot those. They need to die. Our enemy's ladders have reached our walls. It's time for butcher's work. Yeah, and flash pikes are an issue. Alright, let's slow things down. Alright, on the wall, the berserkers should melt these Lebanon Marines. You guys are ready to hold. The enemy are battering down the gate. Yeah, shoot the pikes. Pikes are the issue. Okay, can we go a little bit further along. Out there. The That's it. Very Let's much stick it. In our favor. Victory will be ours. We're not slaughtering them. This is a concern. Oh, we are slaughtering. Just taking a couple of losses ourselves. In the M plus bikes. Take them out. That's a threat unit. Now, you th now that you think about it, uh, there are many grey areas in the evil aligned factions. The Haradrim story, for example, is quite a tragedy. Victims of the tyranny of the later years of Numenor, which was already on that downward path even before Sauron got his way got his way in the King's Council and they managed to break free from it, only to become the puppets of Sauron later on. Yeah. I mean, that's I mean that's just a, a, like a bit of a common trope, isn't it? Like, that's what makes an evil... That's what makes a, an evil either evil character or evil um you know group even even sadder is uh is is if they had like a, a tragic downfall right no longer ours. the enemy have taken uh welcome in saton thanks for the follow appreciate it mate did i tell you to stop firing pretty sure i did stop firing yeah, and then wait for it, and now fire against pikes. Okay, get involved. Stuck in. Shoot the pikes. And the Lemon and Klansman. Yeah, okay, this is... This is why I've got the general right at this end. Alright. Cut them off, cut them off, cut them off. This is always going to be a harder fight. Where's the general going? Trying to, he's trying to die. Oh no, he's back here still. Good. Can we shoot at the one of the clansmen, perhaps? Okay, we've dealt with them on the wall. Just hold them up there. Lurtz is at that far end. Taking quite a, quite a, quite a hit here, but it's kind of going okay. Can we shoot at... Keep shooting at those London Klansmen. Okay, can you guys push forward? Mainly because I want to keep you in front of the general. Keep you guys pushing. What, is, what does this do? Crack one of those in. Only half the enemy force remains. Shooting those London clansmen. Our enemy. 
Yeah. Well, at least we get rid of a custom general. As long as our generals survive here, we're happy. Yeah, I think I can get you down from the wall. Something like that. Get, make sure Lurtz is at the far end. Bandits are struggling. I mean, we've got the answer to these lads. We got a mega armor piercing units. Right over here. And if we recharge this with the berserkers, they might just route. Kinda just want to wait. Okay, hold, hold fire, hold fire, and then charge in. Problems up, come on, bandits, hold, just hold them there. Let the towers do the killing. Just hold the militia in place. Kill him. Kill him. Take him out, come on, you got Pike stabbing him. Pike stabbing him, surely he goes down. Berserker's smacking him in the back. He's not that tanky. Arch militia, go get him. Gunman's finest. Gunman's finest. Dunland's finest. Lurtz is Lurtz is amongst it. We should be fine. Kill them. Okay, archers, can you now throw a volley into the back of this and that should route them? As long as you don't hit our own bandits, that'll probably route them as well. Just hit him with a poison arrow, that should route him. No, not enough. They fight, aren't they? foe runs it's time to press the attack excellent the enemy are utterly vanquished so we took this a lot of a damage on now on our uh, generals which is what we want because they'll replenish up to 77 um or thereabouts uh, so that's good that's what we want also get them leveled up a little bit because they're going to have to continue to do a bunch of work here I was a bit concerned there for a moment when they kind of busted through. The cav kind of charged through the axe line. Um, they were rushing over towards our archers. Wasn't going particularly well. Then it's just stabilized. And that's a custom general down. Frecker's Bastion. We've got the Militia Garrison built. Excellent. And over here, this will get built this turn as well. Oh. I think I'm going to spend 85 gold on that just yet. Three turns. The Military Garrison. That'll make Fallberg, Fallberg pretty much untakeable because honestly, what are they going to be throwing at us early doors? Is going to be... Um, is just have so spearmen i think they're a spearman garrison i hope they are right, so priority is duniard yep and getting these tanners guilds up so those are all buildings so we can go to dunlaric now i'm just wagering that the goblins don't attack us and we want to get tanners guild going there as well it's our best economic structure we can build mordor's top on military 
Yes! <laughs> Go, Mordor. Come on. Distract Gondor. I know what Gondor will do, though. I've seen it many times. Gondor will completely ignore Mordor and will continue to fight a helpless war in the back over here. I could retrain those um, bandits, I would. That'd be a good retrain. I don't think I'll spend the money on that just yet. And we, I mean, it's not necessary just yet either. See, Gin would be like a full, it'd be an advancement because we'd get a free settlement. Like it would push our, our line out. I uh, know it wouldn't because we're still bordering Anadwyth. We'd have to take, we'd have to take Karas and and Gind. And Gind is still a village. So Durwath is just by far the better place to defend. Yeah, I think I'm pretty content with the situation we're at. We've got good defensive positions. We need to we need to build up. Um, so then we can do a, a decent push. Because really, I don't want to hold it Gind. I'd rather like hold it at um, Kirith Ayor or something. You know, like do a push and push again. Which we need a bunch of troops for. Um, what about over here at Bregnas? get that going how many turns are we like that one's gonna be built that's two turns that's three turns yeah so get get that one going as well i want to get the garrison over here because it may be a matter of time until that starts being attacked eisen run i'm kind of just ignoring actually knock the taxes down on eisen run i'd like to get that to grow a little bit uh this one taxes is fine to hire on because we've already got the higher tier of settlement so we got plenty of things to build same thing here can we just up the taxes a little bit. Five turns. I don't see where that takes us then. We talk yes, to Dol Emroth. Question, as you wish. Wait there. I shall we got a mission at tomorrow. the moment. I think we do. It's to take Guinea Yard. Yeah, that's not happening. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice one to advance to. It's very good because it's a central settlement. Um, but we're kind of, yeah, like I said, we're, we're building the eco. Gotta build the eco. Oh, it's these ones without the shields. That's a bit of a pain. It's the, I think, it's possibly the worst defender unit. And I love my defender units, but this is possibly the worst one. They'll still do just fine against, um, against Cav. Where is the general? That you right at this end? Yeah. That's fine, you can stand there and shoot some things. Maybe come around a little bit. I want you to be about there. That's it. That's the ticket. Righto. You can shoot at something. Whatever. Get out. Garrison units. And then once their machine is firing, we'll, we'll pull them over to here and fire down. We could surround them. But... Oh, we get to kill the general here as well. Excellent. What's this unit? Is that just peasants? Yes, I think we will surround them. I say it's it's safer play to just have them both on one side. Also means less friendly fire kills once we start firing into them. But I think we will crash kill this nice and quickly. Um, really want to retrain those right here. See, these lads are shieldless, 6, 4, and 10. There's 187 of them, which is, I guess, the redeeming feature. It's quite a few, but look at them. They're not even spears. They're like little... I mean, they're spears with little, little hooks on them. Which you know? way? Can you shoot at those skirmishers? Do the skirmishers. Attack! We 
could shoot at the general's bodyguard, but there's a lot smaller target. We're more likely to hit things over here. The enemy are battering down the gates! I was doing arcing shots as well. I mean, I thought this wall looked pretty good for firing off the front of, because it's quite a low um, wall. A lot of them are still doing arcing shots. The enemy's ram is through our gates. Hold fire, hold fire. Slow things down. Get over to here. And fire back into the into the bread basket. We're just here, honestly. General is on that side, but should be okay. Righto. And then fire at the Rohan bodyguards. This is the spot to be. Wind it up. Let it loose. That's too many arcing shots for my liking. Quite a few are firing in, but still. Can I get you a little, like, longer along the back, or is that just not possible? I think... Just fire from there, it's fine. How are we going? It's because the Rohan bodyguards are in the gate, that's why. Just fire into this. That's better, now they're firing down. Only half the enemy force remains! This is the general over here. Good stuff. Lock him in, don't let him get away. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Have we go. Eighty two percent, we don't have enough. Chase him. Oh, we got some cav? Go, go, go. Go, cav. Go, go, Rohirrim Rangers. Dun, 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 dun. That's a bit why the Rings of Power series was such a letdown for me. Not only is it badly written, but it also has so much potential to be good. <laughs> um, even with just the appendices as a source, the um, tyrannical period of Numenor was mentioned there and we knew Umbar was a Numenorian colony even in the original books. So why not make a series about the fall to evil of the Haradrims and that's not the only story they could have made instead of what we got. I mean I think they're still going to maybe head in that direction. The hope is. Um, you just have to kind of view Rings of Power as, as almost like a fan fiction. Um, a poorly written fan fiction. I've said it before, like, as I'll say it again since you brought it up, like, I I enjoyed watching Rings of Power. Like, I sat down each week, it, it released on on Amazon, and and I'd I didn't I'd look forward to to watching it. Be awed by the victory um, we have won Why? Because here it was today. friggin' yeah, you know, Middle Earth, right? You know, and there was some cool stuff that happened in there. Man, they stuffed up the fight, the final bit. They stuffed up the making of the rings. You'd think in, in uh, a show that was called Rings of Power, they'd actually, you know, nail the part about the Rings of Power, but they really, really stuffed that bit. Um, and I don't know what they're going to do for season two to, to fix that up. Um, and that's probably the most egregious thing for me. Um, like, the, the 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 stuff about Mordor, how Mordor became Mordor, you know, blah, 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 blah. Like, whatever. That's cool. Um, I was okay with that. They're just going to constantly siege me, are they? they give me a turn. I hated the Hobbits, though. That that Rings of Power show would have been a hundred times better if there were no Hobbits in the show. Just to, just don't have Hobbits. Like, that's a simple... Oh, <sighs> The enemy has surrounded us. We are besieged. Well, we kind of thought it was going to happen. 
This is why we have the military garrison here. Um, I'm gonna stick you. So, can we save Dunlaric? I would like to. I'm kind of past the point where I was happy to give it up. <sighs> so we have Rohan to the to the east, Gondor to the south, Enidwyth to the west, and now goblins to the north. And and Bree, just for good measure, because you know, why not? They could probably take take Takus at Dunlark. Uh, well, full turtle mode engaged. I mean, we're just in the middle of everywhere. We need to get a piece with someone. Get a piece with. No, let's My try and get some money from these guys first. Without question. What is it you wish to? And trade rights. You hold us at another proposition for us then? At poor. A thousand gold. You hold us at rats. We hope for more okay. fruitful. And then we're gonna try and get Stop peace with, with Gondor or something. I don't know. I shall I don't think they'll tomorrow. give it to us, but we'll try. Um Buy rig. We, well, at least we got the Tanner's Guild built. That's good. We're getting some extra money coming in. Um, and Durwath got the Militia Garrison. Right. So we're... we're okay. I, I don't need to replenish them just yet. If I see a threat, I'll replenish them. But they'll just cost us more if we retrain them. 500 gold. Um, so what we need is like a general to go back up here. So what's the situation here? We probably want to take Austin oh, Athiel. No, because we're... Well, I think I'll send that general back north. Probably don't need two generals in here. Um, we'll leave... Lurts, I think. To deal with Gondor. If I'm moving him out, I will retrain those bandits, just in case there's something in fog. Um, so let's send you back north. Like, yeah, any any thought of, it, of being aggressive out and attacking here is is gone, so... Let's not kid ourselves. So Eisenrun is my only safe settlement right now. Eisenrun and, and Duniard uh, are my only safe settlements. Let's get that built so we can then go for the military garrison. Can't get, can't get them back up. Thanks for the follow, uh, Raptor Pack. Welcome in. Yes, my lord. My lord. So we'll send them back north. Uh, the question is, do I immediately get some? Tr can't get there in a turn. Got one clan hunter in there. Two. That's anywhere else. One clan hunter won't do it. Orders. Which is worth 175 a turn. We need we need some Your some front line. Is. them to ambush here. By your command. They can get there next turn. Wondering about sending all of them. 
We're gonna lose out so much cash here. Yeah, we'll need to protect it. Alright, go to there, and then you can get into Dunlaric next turn. And we'll send you back up. We'll chuck a tower in here as well. We can go no further, my lord. Right. Well, it's just really, really gone downhill, hasn't it? We need we need some peace with some people. We need, but to get peace, we need money to pay them off, really. Um. And really, are they at war with anyone else? So Gondor's obviously got other wars. Bree is occupied. Raptor pack. Appreciate the uh, the bits. Appreciate, it, mate. How's your day been? And Wyeth is just at war with me, so they're unlikely to peace out. Rohan is just at war with me. They're definitely not going to peace out. Goblins have just declared war on us, so they're unlikely to peace out. Gondor is probably the most likely one we could try and get peace with, but once again, they declared war on me, so... We will try it. We'll try it. Two turns off a military garrison. We also need... Not working on this here. Right. <sighs> Been watching YouTube vids. Keep up the great work. Appreciate it, Raptor Pack. Um, it's uh means a lot, mate. Appreciate the support, and uh, I hope you hope you keep enjoying it. This this campaign is uh, <laughs> hey, yeah. looks good, then looked really bad, and then looked good again. And is now looking terribly bad. <laughs> it's a roller coaster of emotions and we're only turned 25. Ah, goblins. Yeah, I mean you're gonna die. This is this is known. The troops are assembled. You do have my thanks for attacking straight away. This is why we got the garrisons. Particularly with no vision up in the north, I didn't have time to see it coming. And this is a nice element to defend. Like, we can defend this till the cows come home. As long as we have a couple of units here with the... the garrison. Now, did they bring... Oh, not even any towers. Not even any ladders, just the ram. Very unusual for him to attack just with the ram. I mean, yeah, let's just chuck you fellas in it. Now, this is the upgraded... Upgrade version. And I did note we got three in our capital, which is good because I've seen a few, couple of capitals recently that only give two. So how do the upgraded ones look? Oh, they look much better, don't they? They certainly look better than the uh, than the non-upgraded ones. The non-upgraded ones were look like farmers that had been pulled in from the fields. They still don't have a shield, but excellent stamina. Excellent stamina good. Guild against mounts, yeah. They, they will do plenty against goblins, that's for sure. There's nothing the goblins are going to throw at us here that's going to give us any threat. Now, can you just come over here and activate these towers? Over there, and same with you. Over here. Activate those towers. Alright. Do they bring multiple rams? If this one burns, it's just the one ram. There's a good chance it'll burn. They'll immediately run, which I don't want them to do. So I want I want them to get through. Don't burn the ram. I could target them. I'd tell them not to target the ram. Don't do it. Oh dang it! Ah. Uh. They're just going to run away. Am I going to catch them? I doubt it. Uh, we would have killed them so easily as well. Now they run away. Excellent stamina though. We might catch up. Come on little wildman. Stick him in the back. Shht. 
stabby stabby those goblins. Why the AI normally doesn't come with one. Kill him. And stop. Get a couple. Yeah. yeah. We're really not getting many, are we? We lost a couple of troops. Are they fighting back? What? I guess they're retreating. They're not routing. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Ah, uh, actually, return to game. Whoa, don't exit. Don't exit. We'd lose the battle. Don't exit. Because they're... This is a clear oh, no, we'd already won, hadn't we? And I'm having flashbacks to other times of exited battles because they were... They were retreating, not uh, routing. Oh, well. Um, I'll come back another day. Victory in your name, my lord. Don't occupy my forts. I'm only one piece of vision in the north. <laughs> Don't occupy them. <laughs> Dol Amros leader is dead. Okay. My lord. As you wish. We're yes, my lord. With honor. I'd like to get generals into both of these. My lord. Okay. So As that's you saved. And being retrained. Spent all our money, so everything I queued up must be building. Well, at least they'll take that as a win. Mason's Hall at Dunlaric. Um, probably then a militia garrison, or do we go for the tannery? We've got some troops in there, so maybe we go tannery first. It's a greedy thing not to get the garrison, but. We go for the tannery. Um, Be gone. And that'll be up as well. So we got military garrison in Folberg. And we, we're getting quite a few of these mason's halls up and running. So we'll be able to pump out the structures we actually want soon. Your orders, my lord. Yeah, so that Durwath is now well defended. Full bandits being retrained. Got the garrison there. Tier 1 at least. And yeah, Gondor could send an actual army and then we'd be in serious trouble, but... Let's hope they don't. Nothing else I can do about it. My lord. I can get a peace deal. As you wish. Stopping here. I shall Go talk to Gondor. tomorrow. I will only address you in I respect you, my enemy. Attack. Go for it. As long as you have some infantry in the army. Otherwise, they'll just siege me out. Make sure you have some peasants in there for me. Don't forget the peasants. As much as I can do. So we actually don't have trade with anyone now, like on our borders. We're trading with the... <laughs> probably with the neutrals. <laughs> oh, Isengard. We're trading with Isengard. That's... That's our, our one benefit. Stand our little trade mountains. trade hussy on the side. That's all, they, that's all they're gonna do. Isengard are not going to be present in this campaign. They're not gonna do a single thing. We not gonna lift a stand. finger. Everything that they were going to do, they've done. They've given me a custom general. They've given me an armor upgrade, and they promised not to kill me at turn 80. That's... that's about it. I mean, what? An ally, they're useless anyway. It's a little bit risky, Orders. but by your command, erecting a watchtower. 
some shell swords. It's a little bit risky, but I kind of want to sit him in the fort for free upkeep over the end turn. Yes, my lord. Put the fort we down just to see no if there was anything further, around here. We look like we're in the clear. Hey, Folberg got it up just in time. The tower, that is. <laughs> the garrison. Duniard as well. Okay, so Duniard. Did you get the tannery? It's two turns on the tannery. Excellent. Let us settle matters on the field of battle. Hey Gondor, you wanna Your orders, this had best. You wanna have peace and trade? Time. You want me to like uh you know join war? Where's join war? I join war against someone for you? Uh oh, make offer to attack faction. Yeah. Um I will attack I'll attack Mordor for you. How about that? Yeah. You're at war with Harad Canned Mordor. Now how about we say um how about we say uh, canned. I will I'll offer to attack canned for you. That's rune. Yeah. I'll attack canned. <laughs> uh <laughs> got nothing else, man. Map information. Accept <laughs> or we attack. Ha! Do you think me a mindless surf? You ask too much. I just want peace, man. We I just want peace. Without question. Stopping here. Oh, of course, Dol Emroth's, you know, doing well. I just want peace. That's all I want. Sixteen hundred gold. Yeah, these these units here out of free upkeep is hurting us. Get we get some free upkeep for them. That'd make a big difference. Why don't we get the levy grounds and then yeah, that would get some of them. I get one free upkeep at least, and then we can get the meeting hall. Let's do that. That seems smarter. Then the tannery. Actually help us defend as well as this some money. I right, we're we're now in a state of defend our lives. Captain Leod. Muster your courage, men! We march into battle! That's where we're at. Defend for our lives. And s somehow try to build up. Units, await my orders. And we're definitely going to defend here. You get roasted. Back our lands. Take them back. We're working on it. We're taking some of them back. At a time. Axemen. Spearmen. What are you? It's peasants. Okay, so that means I can freely put you over here to activate some towers. Do that. And over here. For Donland. That. Um, Archers, yeah, there's a nice little spot here. Advance. Let's have the pikes kind of in the vicinity, you know, just in case. I just feel like I'm being manipulated by by Saruman, you know, he's just sitting there getting us to do all the dirty work. I don't like this at all. 
Now that everyone's just, everyone's like, not even declare, they're not declaring war on Isengard, they're declaring war on me. Like, I'm, I, I just want my land. I don't want to fight everyone. battering down our gates! Something... something just beautiful about the Rohan peasant the has breached the gates. Like, even... there's even peasant cavalry, right? So imagine if you're in Rohan, and you're so poor that you don't even have a horse. The enemy like, the walls. there are literally peasant cavs. And you are so, so dirt poor that you don't even have that. Like, you don't even have... You're, you're in such a low, lowly class. Alright, kill him. Shoot him. Attack! See, these guys just aren't very good, are they? Like, they're just not as good as other defender units. They don't hold nearly as well. Like, they'll do the job against the cab, but against infantry, they're really not going to do a lot. I kind of don't want them to route yet, because I want to get a little bit further behind with this unit, so that I can cut them off from getting through the gate. Okay, they're going to route. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Eighty-five percent. Can we get a little bit more? a little bit more. Someone's still fighting. Come on. Okay, 86%. That should, I don't think anything's left the field yet. Was this the cab? It's 86% should be enough. I mean, they're going to catch some of these. Nah, they'll be fine. I believe. This is a clear yeah, 86%. Victory. We're good. Start leveling up this Menthar general as well, because he looks like he's got a couple of good traits, some good healing traits. Um, so it'd be nice to, to make him into my better generals later in the campaign. One of my generals I used to, to push. And the Dunhurt Slayers are, are a very good unit. Like their archer archer ability is like good, but then they're also good in melee. So they're not not exceptional at anything, but they're kind of average at, at most things. I have to attack can for you, Gondor. You, you should have taken that offer up. I was really going to ride out and go, go attack them. Be gone. <sighs> okay, well, we're one turn off finishing that. That's good. Gold has been spent somewhere. Over here, perhaps. Dunlaric. Yeah, Clan Lovely Grounds. Okay. So. Have a taste of my blade. 
Have a taste of my blade. Orders. Your orders, my lord. My lord. Take it over to there. Yes, my lord. Yes. You actually get free upkeep here as well. So, ah, uh, both of them would get free upkeep here, actually. Orders. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, they'd both get free upkeep here. Maybe I should both have them in here. So that'd save a bit of money. I don't think I'll retrain them. I'd rather have the fresh units and, and they'll they'll just replenish up to 76 automatically. Yes, my lord. As you wish. Yes. Yes, my lord. And sure. Stopping find, try and find some Haradrim. I know I've got these units here, but they're they don't they're not needed for holding right now. So they're just just chilling. I mean, that looks, looks like <laughs> saying they're not needed for holding. Um, no, they're not. We're good. We're good here. How much free upkeep do we have here? So if we could get those two Wolfguard units in here, Wolfguard Axe, Wolfguard Pikes. We'd have two free upkeep. It's another three. Yeah, we need to get here. We need to get the to damn many units, do we? What about all thank? I can't get all thank guard from here. Ah, sucks. Thank him from Edoras. Oh, Batten down the hatches, lads. Shore up the doors. Get the wheat into the into the cities. Dwinian resplendent. Come and get me, you coward. Well, we'll sally out on that if they come around, because we got the two cav. Uh, this is, this is like what I'm concerned about. If Gondor actually starts sending like proper armies this way, you in tier one garrison, and we've retrained our two mercenaries. So I think next priority is military garrison here. I respect you. Now this I is there's no there's no infantry in this I army. Uh, hopefully this army these lads come over and, and join so they actually attack. Um, because I'll see just down forever without any it will be without an any uh, infantry in them. You. Yeah, so we'll save the money, save the money to get that going. Um. This was looking okay. Now, I think what I should do is just. I mean, how much? He's barely making any money there. Get into there. Yeah, that's that's actually in general. He's he's a lot more saving money there. And I think great hall maybe. So we should have a higher garrison here. There's a lot of things I need and and not enough money to do any of them. And all of this falls apart if if Anderbwyth take uh, Hailrot, because then Duniard is in is in trouble, and we got nothing here. We got nothing. Okay, one way we can get money is from yes, my lord, as you wish. Enemies, without question, or potential friends, friends. That's a good turn. Got a lot built. There is something you wish to speak of. Don't know there. Had you asked any more? You would speak of something more. Modest. So we have eight settlements. Let's try it fourteen hundred, and we'll work our way down. We must decline. If you can okay, keep, insult us, as you wish. Keep going this way.
Hopefully this army just kind of stands here and blocks this Gondorian force. I don't know. I imagine they're going to siege me and then they'll walk, they'll walk around behind them. I mean, they're bordering. Are they potentially going to war with each other? No. Really liked it if they did. And queue that up because it's probably going to be under siege next turn. Yep. <laughs> yep. We stand vigil. Okay, we'll we'll sally out at Bregnas. We'll kill them. We'll take the siege at Durwath because we got good towers there. We must make a stand. We are besieged. And that is the most concerning thing. This is fine. We have the troops here. We stand vigil as the enemy surrounds us. Lauren under attack. Fantastic. Someone come and take. Rory Rohan from behind. Okay. Your orders. There is something you wish to speak of. Give me a thousand gold. Yes. Any more discussions? Okay. Come to a close. Without question. Oh. I shall continue tomorrow. Arad's lining Tomorrow's up. Love to see it. Planned out. Barag besieged, Ragnas besieged. Yep, that's fine. We'll deal with that. And Derwath besieged. <laughs> the money, the money situation isn't looking good when everywhere's sieged up. But let's get rid of this straight away. Yeah, it should be fine. Wow. Ah, right the order resolve is really not in our favor. Not that we'd use it anyway, but. Still, I mean, I feel like looking at it because they they got armor upgrades. Yeah, they've got armor upgrades. That's that's what it is. Like we outnumber them. We have a general, and our units are fairly similar. Units, await my orders. They will pay. Move a hill there, stand on that. Alright, what do we got? What can we charge into here? Not the spears. Javelins are risky. Definitely the archers. If they're running forward, they're on the move, we can hit them. Nope, they're back. Uh, this is not going to turn out well. Get out. Get out. <laughs> uh, the Frecklinger Hill Riders, the ponies, their charge in looked more like a pathetic excuse for a morning walk. But you can hit those though, from the side. I think we got out of that pretty pretty well actually. The flank, we grab him. The battle is very much in our favour. Out, the out. Will be ours. There we go, good. Finish him off. Yeah, okay, how are we going? Getting these boys.
Okay, I get the cav over here. Beefy Huntsman. Now these guys throw rocks. They're slingers actually. So they have um ex where is it? Exceptional accuracy. Um they're like very much pressure, don't miss. Um well they do miss, but exceptional accuracy. Uh and I believe they're no, they're not armor piercing. No, that would be that would have been too broken, that's right. Uh but exceptional accuracy and uh three missile attack is pretty good with exceptional accuracy. Reckoning hill riders can barely even chase down a unit, they're so freaking slow. So useless. Out. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Keep keep hitting them. Come around. Wait for those. Wanna hit these spearmen in the back while they're pinned. Should break them, yep, they're done. Okay. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Got those. And stop. Hold fire, hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. Didn't break him? Come on, man. Must be the captain. Again. Go again. There we go. A little bit of chasing. Try and get as much as you can. Man, I don't trust these freckling hill riders to actually kill. Look at them. They just ran straight past them. They're pretty much outrunning. Look at them. They are so pathetic. They just ran away. They just ran away. Freckling hill riders, man. Vanquished. <laughs> Let all who remember this day. I hate them. Remember it as the day of our oh, most glorious victory. I hate them with a passion. Stupid freckling hill riders. They are, I think, the worst cab unit in the game. Because the one thing that a pathetic cav unit is good for doing, which is at least chasing down routing units, these guys can't even do because they're so slow on their little mountain ponies. Not even mountain ponies. They're just they're just ponies they found down by the down by the pond. I don't know. Useless. <laughs> Victory! Okay, we'll take that. So, we have some gold to spend. We're building here. Uh, it still looks like a decent garrison. Boldberg, we've... Hmm. Could start getting clan levy grounds here and then, and then meeting halls to get some free upkeep. Same thing here, I reckon. The clan levy grounds. And then into a meeting hall. Let's queue those up. That's that's what we want. Get some cheaper cheaper upkeep. Now did they put those I respect you, they didn't. My enemy. How many turns we got here? Nine. I feel like we've probably got to do something about this because they could just sit here and not and not add any more troops to this. Um, the issue is, it's a little bit risky. In fact, it's a lot risky because we definitely get surrounded, yes, and I can't no. protect the general. We might actually need to send something you. over to break that siege. And we've got nine turns. Hopefully, they'll send something over because the garrison won't come out if we sally. Hmm. 
I respect you, my enemy. And of course, they can't attack. We have these ones here. My lord. We'll just we'll just take a chill. Like we got nine turns. We're barely going to lose anything to attrition. And if they eventually do attack, it's the garrison that'll do most of the work. Yeah, so we'll just let that be. We still have 2,000 gold. Duniard. Get that Tanner's Guild right there. Yes, my okay. lord. As much as we can do. We must make a stand. We are besieged. Well, that's such a small force. Like one unit. Captain Toledan. We attack. Lurtz thought he was going to get to go kill, uh, kill horse lords. Instead, he's over here defending settlements <laughs> against various enemies. Uh, this is the other side. Okay, this is fine. This settlement is pretty much good either, either side they attack on. I do prefer the other direction. Because it's such a clean line, line of sight from here down to here. Um, and you fit multiple arches along there. This direction isn't as good. You've still got a nice archer position here for like one archer. Um, um, so yeah, we want the archers to fire in from this direction, so we give we give them this side. Um, I go like that. Right, and then what do we got? A ladder? Stuff. That freshly retrained bandits here, and then you can just stand over here to activate that. I mean, we should probably use the berserkers on the wall. Yeah, let's instead put the bandits down here to just protect this flank. Um, is there a? Yeah, there is a. We don't want. No, yeah, I'll move you in a second. And then let's use the Berserkers. Because that's just free kills. But we want to make sure that the General is at the other end. No, Lurtz, go to the other end. There now. No, where is he? No, he's, still, he's still intent on being at the wrong end of the, the formation. Come on, go to the other end. There we go, is that it? Perfect. He's down here now. And that's good. Good setup. Alright. Get back here. There's no need to have you that close. Protect that flank. Fellas are set up. That tower's firing as well. Okay. Archers. Hunters. I don't want to hit my own berserkers in the back. Our enemy's ladders have reached our walls. It's time for. I'll just save the ammunition. As long as Lurtz doesn't find his way walking, running all the way from one end to the other, 
to be fine. Curses! The enemy are battering down our gates! Stay at this end. Excellent. Good. Yeah. If we continue like this, now, this is actually an interesting it. matchup because we are 13 and 13 with zero armor and we're armor piercing. These guys are 5 and 6 with well, one armor. They're effective against armor. So, yeah, like we're just a higher tier berserker. So, we should kind of just easily win this fight. Because they're not really getting any benefit from the, the armor piercing. The gates. So it's just the defense skill that really matters. And we've got a much higher defense skill and a much higher attack. That's why it's good to have these ones up here because it's pretty much free. As long as he's at this end, not getting shot by arrows or something, he's fine. The enemy have the walls. Our defense or all will be lost. Righto, farmers. Let him have it. Wait for him to get in. And then let him, let him have it. Poison arrows will probably make him rout. Hail and bullet guards. They're probably going to instant route now, which is not what we want. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. Kill as many as we can. Attack. Get over here. Let's see, cut them off. Okay. Fire will, whatever you want to shoot. The low morale of these ended wife units are really, really pestering me. Attack! Hunters. We await your command. Good. They're gonna run back past the towers. Maybe. No, I don't think we're gonna reach them. It's just a waste of time. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. Okay. Another one sent packing. Gondor awaits though. <laughs> and kill all Gondor's generals. Keep him coming, Gondor. We have triumphed. He needs to be that dramatic. They routed us as soon as they got through the gate. Thanks for the follow, uh... We stand vigil as the enemy Obi, Obi... Obi no Wobi? Obi no Wobi. Okay, the goblins. Yep. Okay. Muster your courage, men. We march into battle. Okay, we got one ladder. Now, the last time the goblins came, their, their ram exploded. This time, they've they've brought an additional siege equipment. They've learnt. The the AI is learning. Uh, not really, but I need to think about. Uh, now, same thing here. We can use the general. That's just free as long as the actual general stays Forward. 
No. Gotta be over this side, right? This is him here, I think, in the white. Yeah. As well as the actual general is on that side. Feels a little bit risky to use him, honestly, up on the wall with semi ballista towers. Yeah, let's let's not do that. Ballista towers are a, are a bit of a bit of a risky proposition. Any the archers there? Nice spot for archers. I don't think they can get through the gates, but have have them here just in case. Alright, uh, please. Look, just come back down here. Over here. That tower going. That's tough. They are goblins after all. Same as ended white. The the trick is hoping that they don't route before we Okay. Rams down. You know what that means? Them off, we don't need to waste them. Get them up. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Yeah, okay. just use our garrison units then. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Now the ladders can be destroyed. One already has been. As two. <laughs> we kind of want them to get up again, remember? We don't want them to run away, because we easily kill them. If we continue like this, we will smash you go up there. I reckon they might... Um... Oh, there's another ladder. Only one ladder left. Well, now it's just a slow grind. So I put these ones up here in case they wanted to, uh, sometimes they want to attack this way. Give them something else on the wall to go for. Otherwise, make sure all these towers are firing. We get maximum kills. And we just wait now. Wait while they slowly die. the Iron Fist uh, special ability. It's a bit odd that this guy doesn't get anything. I mean, they're both special generals spawned in. This guy gets an ability, this one doesn't. Oh, the last ladder went down. What we want to do is, can we go out? Give them something to charge at. There we go. And fight something or before these guys will die. Right. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Right this way. Taros, one thing I don't regret being absent, or that is at least slightly better in modern Total War games, is the siege pathing. AI Medieval 2 sucks in that domain. I mean, yeah, even it's not just it's not the AI. It's the 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 pathing itself. Like even the player struggles sometimes. You know, like they work then, but sometimes you'll tell them to move and they just will not have a bar of it. Um, I 
Those come down to here. No, 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 not you. Fight. You guys. The battle is very much in our favor. I'm gonna get those wargs while they're still interested. How are we going? We've only killed 48% of them? Uh, most of them ran away. Really? We only kill 48%. I feel like we... I feel like we killed more than that. Nah, that's... That's lies. That's lies. This is the only full unit that made it away, the wargs. Percentage of enemies killed 48%. Move, move. Not buying that for a second. No. Oh, now it's no, because some left the field. Unless they're hiding in the trees or something. Be awed by the victory what? we have won here today. Where are all their units? We only killed half? Where? What? I don't understand. Where where are all their units? There must have been a bunch just hiding in the trees. That we couldn't see. I don't know. It's weird. Having to order a thousand times for a unit to move one centimeter on the walkable section of walls is the very definition of pain. I dread when I have to relocate troops in sieges. <laughs> yeah. It's go. You're there. And they go, yep. I'm staying here. This is my spot. Uh, the, the general ordered me to defend here and I'm staying. You want me to get off the wall to go to another place in the settlement? No. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's not, that's not 50% that got away. There was something weird going on with the, with the losses there because that was about what I would have expected to get away. Something not quite right there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We've got a few things queued up everywhere. So happy with that. What is this? A couple of spearmen? I mean, we don't want that to be interrupting us building something, do we? What do we got here? Uh, we got an archer. That should do the work, do the most of the job. I will only address you. Yeah, we definitely don't want to let that. Your orders, my lord. That stop our uh, will, my lord. structure building. Engage. Attack! Sometimes it feels like it. There's like un unpathable areas on the wall when it should be pathable. Um, and they just and units just will not move in certain areas, if not like it says that says that you can. Ah, uh, so this is a little bit tricky because we um yeah the archers is kind of like the units go do the work here. They're gonna walk back. It's it will win, but it's just a little tricky because we don't have a cab unit to just easily. Hammer and emblem. Really, realistically, we just want the the pikes to really be the main line because they'll barely take any losses, and then just have you fellas kind of either side, and then the archers out the front to do the shooting. Something like that. Even like not even come, come like more in. That. Yeah. Right. Uh, 
Let's go. There's a nice little hill here. We should be in range. So this is the Dunhead Slayers. We've had in a few battles. But I don't think we've had a close look at them. Um, they are a, uh, a lovely looking unit. With these little feathers. Feathers in their caps. Some have got like the whole bear or wolf skin. Wolf skin, uh, you know, hats, helmets going on. I kind of got the... Was that the testicles of their fallen enemies hanging around their necks? Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what it looks like. I'm just saying, I don't know what else they'd be ha having hanging around their neck. You in range? Are you gonna do the dry firing? Actually, gonna shoot. Oh no, we're shooting good. Hey, fellas. Yeah, nice. What's their accuracy? Is it high? It's average. Two twenty range though. That's all. A good. It's good distance. Good inch a little closer to get make him a little more accurate. Uh, just as just as I do it, they start moving. Typical. Typical. Shoot, but don't do it fire at will. Do it I tell you to. Because then when I tell them to run, they'll move faster. If they're on fire at will and you tell them to run, they'll want to finish their their cycle of shots. Whereas if they're just firing because I'm telling them to fire, they'll be more likely to run when I tell them to move. I love the twang on the armor. Twang on the shields. Shields in the armor. It's so good. Such little details. Okay, now run. Yeah, see how they ran punch straight away there? If they were on fire at will, they would not have done that. They would have really um, screwed around. Okay, can you shoot those now? Now the pikes pretty much should deal with them. Shouldn't have any issues. In our favor. Victory will be ours. Yeah, bikes still are a 92. They haven't taken losses yet. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. i make sure that you got that third layer of pikes so the ones behind will hit anything that gets close. And then we just and then we just wait. Wait will we slowly stab them to death? Yeah, we could run these in, but um, they would take casualties. Whereas the pikes are still on 92. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, hold. Spear. And we want to kill 85%. Okay, it did take some losses there on the charge, unfortunately. It should stabilize. Oh, yeah. They're gonna run, aren't they? How are we going? Seventy-seven percent. Okay, can we get around? If we continue like this, we will. The enemy army flees the field. Yeah, everything. And run them down. Get out of that! Oh, no, get out of that! It might be faster. And then run, chase them, chase them. Pikes are normally pretty fast when they're not in pike formation. I don't know who the fastest is here. I don't think it's going to be you. You can pull out. They're really running weird. Run towards them. Like running in such a weird formation. Some of those. You may have got enough in the end there. Couple more, yeah. Our foe is utterly yeah. vanquished. Nice. Let all who remember this day remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. Mm 
Okay, remember, like 300 gold for every for every battle won as well. Kind of start counting every little source of income you have when you're in a situation like this. Kind of remember my Isengard campaign feeling very, very similar. Um, but we were just in a better situation because we had Isengard troops and we had Isengard uh, and Saruman. I guess we've effectively got Saruman with our faction leader. Like, very similar unit. Slightly worse, but I guess better against Cav or Guard of the Hand. I can't remember if Guard, I don't think Guard of the Hand have spears. Guess we've got like these settlements out here as well, which we didn't have in the in the Isengard campaign to begin with, at least, because we're allied with Dunland. Okay. Dunlaric. Where's that? Over here. So that should start getting some free upkeep for these units. Excellent, good. And now we'll get the meeting hall, which is another two on top of that. Over here, I would like to get the meeting hall as well. Yeah. And then we're doing that combo there as well. Yep, let's get the meeting halls up everywhere we can. They should attack here, uh, probably next turn. This is the one I'm still concerned about. Like they're, they're never going to attack. I don't want to break it sooner rather than later, but see if I go to try and break it, they won't come into the attack. Um, no, they will if I attack with this army, not with that army. Let's see anything here. My Lord. This isn't particularly a great anti cav army, you know? It's like. Let us settle matters kind of feels like they're just going to get battle. run over. As long as they kind of hold the line. Wait, we need to get rid of it. Orders. Could chuck the... By your command. Pike in here, from here. Hmm. We are victorious. I am your will, my lord. To war. No, out of range. Yes, my lord. So if we attack with him, they should come in as reinforcements. It will be an honor defeating you. We had a little bit awkward. I think we need to do it. To battle. So, don't be controlled by AI. I mean, it's just the situation that they didn't actually have any infantry in this army. Um, it's probably fairly rare that they're not even going to have a peasant spearman in there. As long as they have one infantry unit, um, they'll, they'll make the attack. Because they can actually man the siege equipment. Something a bit funny about Pikes and Evil 2 is that they were kind of a wild card. They were good when they kept their pike in hands, but out but rather became sub part of the moment they switched their swords yeah that was in base medieval 2 in vanilla and that's why most mods have seen remove the sword switching altogether in order to make pike still relevant yeah absolutely absolutely so we're outside the hornberg the where our troops are coming in from the left i'm guessing they're going to come in from over here um Either way, we'll stand in this corner. We can spawn a camp again if we have to. Cliff camp. <laughs> Cliff camp. Um, really want to retrain these Rohirrim still. So we'll come in. Yeah, our reinforcements are coming in from the left. I hope. Yep, yeah, from over here. Excellent. Yeah, so. Are they coming to me? Looks like it. Okay. I want to set up on this. Let's <laughs> set up here. Up you go. Up you 
Yeah, lads. Maybe here. Archers. Up here as well. Um, couple of you lads in the front. Here as well, come on, hurt. Let's get in there actually, because you're the captain of the second army, so I don't want you to die. Hurry up, set up. Alright, we got some uh, Urukai archers. Not sure we can um, replenish them at all. <laughs> so, uh, they are what they are. They're effectively unreplenishable mercenaries. Bikes down. Bikes, bikes, bikes. Can we shoot at the regular marchers? Okay. Don't waste your time with them. Shoot the peasant scouts. Stupid bloody. Yeah, you can shoot them because you'll still hit them because you've got flatter shots. Yes, yeah, true. See if you can get anything. The battle is very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Charging directly onto pikes. Should just because my general, they just insta give you know the entire front line. How are we going? 67%? Oh my goodness. They're breaking through this entire side. The lads down there. The battle is very much in our Damn, favor. Rohan Victory will be ours. Cavalry generals. Can you shoot this? Apparently we're not killing it. Oh, he's out of range, of course. A volley? Still charging onto pikes. And not dying, unbelievable as that is. Shoot him. Ah, right, good. We got, we got a volley into him. We got a volley into him. Good. Alright, that's done, that's done. A lot of work. Give me another volley, come on. Yep. You can hit him. Feel free to hit him. Anytime. Coming again. On the pikes once again. Straight through the pike line, yep, of course. We must help his men avenge him. Oh what? That was our our captain died. Maybe? I don't know. Come on, shoot him! Got another couple, kill one more. Yep, directly under pikes. Onward, move out. Is this guy like the king or something? He's just charging through like nothing matters. Is very much Kill him. in our favor. Victory will be ours. The enemy general abandoned what? his men. 
And then he runs away. No freaking way, man. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's he is a cowardly foe. Well, you know, guys are fresh. There. Maybe. The fair bit of the map still to go. We're going to catch him. The question is whether we can get him or not. No, apparently not. Oh, we got him. <laughs> you thought you were getting away. You thought you were getting away. I did too. I did too. Until I realized you were a lumbling, lumbering, slow, exhausted, heavy cavalry unit. I sent some light cav after you. This is a clear victory. Good. And we lose. We lose a bunch, but, uh, you know, these things happen. I might leave the bandit. I mean, I'm going to have to leave them all What's there this the turn. Word for friend? Obi no Wobi. Thank you so much for the, for the sub. Appreciate it. Really, really do appreciate uh, any and all support you guys give me. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, ransom value, 1001. Execute. <laughs> So you're going to be stuck outside the settlement. That's kind of bad. You two can get inside. Jump in. And retrain them? For uh, armor it must be. Nah. Don't bother. Don't bother. Okay, we at least lifted the two sieges over here. And this one they attacked. Wait, wait, we're slowly getting there. It's, it's, it's a slow grind now. You can just attack us here again as well. Anyone in Gind? No, barely anyone there. Hmm. See, I have lots of thoughts. I could take Gind and try and give it to Gondor as a peace offering, and they'd probably attack me again straight away. Um, and it'd be pretty risky because they're bringing troops through here pretty consistently, I think. Harad have Gobel Merlons. So that's cut off. That's cut Arad and I'm off from really having any presence in the south, which is a good thing for Gondor and Dol Emroth. And Zarin fighting the one enemy instead of the two, unless the Arad and I'm have already got Gobel Tophilas. Which would have to be a pretty unusual set of circumstances to get there on turn 31. They would have had to take with Gobel Merlond. Then taken Gobel Tophilas. Then Dol Emroth would have had to taken it back off them. And then Harab would have had to take it back off Dol Emroth to get back in the situation that it is now. Unless, of course, all of that means nothing. Unless Aradonaima at war with them. No, it looks like Aradonaima just neutral. I not find them. Where are they? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're just neutral with everyone still. Your orders. Okay, Mister Ardenheim. What is it you wish to discuss? Want some trade? You hold us at very well. What you poor. I must say, we are not. until we meet again. Yes, as you wish. Try and get a little bit less off them next turn. The Winnie and Dolgador. At least it's not me. No one else is declaring war on me. That'd be... Mordor, yes. Do it, Mordor. Do it. Why are they not attacking? Stop sieging me out. Attack me. What do we got here? Okay. Good, good. So Folberg, all those places, Folberg and Bregnas, they should be queued up meeting halls. Dunlaric. Yep. Oh, they got the Tanner's Guild. Little healthy garrison there. They got the meeting hall. Good. 
So, I'm going to try and get a um, man of the hour here, eventually. I don't know what my general situation is. Seven generals, eight regions. Maybe we can get one. Right on the edge. What can I get from my way station? Heralds of the Twofold King, All Thank Guard, All Thank Wardens. So not, not Wolf Guard units, which really sucks because I can't get them everywhere, right? I don't think I can. They're unlocked. They'd be in this one, I would think. You can get Antibiotic units there. Um, they're down here. If I look at the Prekalinga. That should give me some Rohan units. Yeah, Rohirrim and Rohirrim Archers. But that's all. I mean, it's okay. Cav archers are nice. They're definitely better than Freckling Hill Riders. Bit of a letdown that I don't get something better than that though. Because that's the tier 2. Or the tier 4 rather. Right here. Is it different for what settlement it is or is it just the same? Freckalinga. It's the two row hero units. If I look at a Dunherd in a Rohan region, then a wrong wrong settlement, wrong settlement. This one. Uh Dunherd. There shouldn't be anything additional units here. No. Yeah, so we probably do want to put the Frecklinga ones in in Rohan territory just because we get access to a couple extra units. Um, and most of the units we get in both anyway. It's only it's only a couple difference across them all. So the bandits are going to stay behind, and the cavs. I can retrain him here. Um, so everyone else, bandits, you can stay. As you wish. And then you fellas can go out. to war. The day is ours to war then. Kill him. We bring the battle to the enemy. And just get some money going. Then we can drop our borders. To get some economy running and then get some troops. We're still just very much in survival mode right now. This is Hanging on for dear life from all angles. And frankly, this this little couple of Ur low tier Urukai units that they come in, no, they're not. That Saruman gave me is like kind of like a slap in the face, honestly. Here I am fighting the entirety of of Rohan and all the enemies they would they would probably have. And instead of giving me some actual quality Urukai units, just gives me some some raiders and some archers. And I'll die soon enough. Can't retrain them. Maybe an Isengard I could, but I have to, you know, take Isengard to do that. Maybe I don't even think I'd be able to actually. The only thing it said about taking Isengard was if you went against Isengard, you could train the Orthanc Wardens and Orthanc Guard from Isengard. And not in Edoras and, and your capital. Uh, yeah. Run. Position. 
Pike's down. Thank you. Probably more damaging to be like that. Just spread out. Thought they were gonna charge me. Here we are, the charging in now. Only half the enemy force remains. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. Maybe we get ourselves a general? Like a governor for um, Duniard. Nope. Victorious. Your will yeah, you lot can make it back to there this turn. Working on it. Working on it. We're going to be able to get, get some troops there. Yeah, 277 gold. I think really else we can do. Yes, my lord. Uh, I'd like to get some towers down, but I feel like it's pretty risky with all these Borders. these goblins about. I get to by your command. There. Yes. Let's do that. Erecting a watchtower. By your command. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. Yes. With honor, yes. Concerned that they're ambushed here, honestly. This tower will keep vigil right, that gives, over the gives me a little bit to work with now. At least see this area. Okay. Come on, Gondor. Let us have it. Tulin. Captain's bodyguard, but otherwise easy to deal with. We attack. When I was thinking about what campaign I was going to do, whether it would be Dunland or Angmar, um, I was kind of thinking about it and I thought Angmar would probably be a little bit chilled to begin with and then would be pretty hard because you know you're gonna have all of the the forces of good in the north basically they'll gang up on you there's about four of them um, I'm like oh well that's gonna chill and then really hard you know mid game once once past the immediate start and then I thought about Dunlin. I'm like, oh yeah, Dunlin, it's probably like the reverse. It'll be, you know, really hard to begin with once I get myself established. And then, and then it'll be, you know, easy. It'll be a reverse of that. And the more I'm considering it, the more I'm potentially realizing that um, those assumptions are not true. Dunlin was really hard to begin with and it's going to continue to be hard. Uh, <laughs> as the as the campaign develops, so once again we'll chuck him up here to uh, just um, get rid of a unit. Make sure Lurtz is at that end. Yes, he is. Perfect. He can go there. I do need a unit to go over this side this time. Gonna leave these fellas over here. 
Right. Need these bandits to do something related over here. Where's the Gondor in general? Oh, he's pushing the... Look at this. This is what you love about Gondor. The general is leading from the front. He's leading from the front. He's saying, you know what, men? I'll push the ram up. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about getting tired. My men are strong and trained, my bodyguard. We'll, we'll push the ram up. You lads do the work. Okay, we'll push the ram. We'll lead from the front. Ah, oh, you gotta love Gondor. Gotta love Gondor. Look at these shields. It looks so freaking good. Uh, our enemy's ladders have reached our walls. So pristine. On the other hand, I have some lads with white hand marks on their backs. Uh, the enemy are battering down the gates! Cut him down. And this is not a fair fight. Really not a fair fight. Yeah, Berserkers up against Territorial Guardsmen. This guy's just in the middle of it and he's still just chunking. It'll be interesting to see how many actually go down there. That's... It's, it's not a fair fight. I mean, we're still 72. Probably died of friendly fire, honestly. Look at him go. They're just chopping. Probably look at what's happening here. I mean, there's not a lot, really. Just sit there and hold. Uh, archers can shoot into the militia. Still 72. Neither, no one's died on this front line yet. They've got two hit points, remember? And what, what's, what's, what is it actually? So 13, all in defense skill pretty much. Um, 11 attack, 13 attack, up against four attack, 13, uh, take two off, so 11. So four and, four and 11 up against 13 and 13. Um, yeah. And there's no surrounding happening. So our lower numbers, and this is just, it's just a, it's just a straight clean fight. Spears poking against Berserkers and the Berserkers don't care. I mean, that was a friendly fire shot in the back of the head there. Oh, just, just cut him in half on the ground. You know what? Let's, let's have some Uruk Tide. How are we going in other parts of the battle? Bandits. Yeah, they'll, they'll do fine here with the tower support. Towers are Vincent from behind. It's just going to be the general's bodyguard left standing, which is always the case with Gondor. As, as it should be. I mean, he was first in. He's going to be last to die. Where's the general? Is he over here? Oh, no. Should be out on this left flank. No, that's the... Oh, here he is here. He's in the middle. He is a little bit surrounded. It's, it's not looking good for him. What did this actually do? I don't know. It did something. We're still at 72, by the way. <laughs> we still haven't dropped. And it's still the same ones at the front. Like, it's not like they've rotated out the ones. Oh, it's just... Oh, just chopped his head off. And another one. And another one. Oh, and on the deck. It's like, it's just two... Oh, we lost a Berserker. I think that's actually a friendly fire. Because I didn't see 
I didn't actually see. I think it was a tower shot. I didn't see anyone here kill anyone. I reckon that was that was a tower shot. Then he generalized dead. He didn't ride a war on pony. He didn't though. He didn't. Right, stay here. Whatever. Stop. So he lost one, and I'm pretty sure it was a friendly fire hit. With 85%. It's just the general's bodyguard left. Even with the general dead, they're still fighting. Surrounded. Getting hit in the back. Ah, uh, well that's actually, that's disappointing. I thought you were going to fight to the death then. I really did think you were going to fight to the death. Um, right, you get to die for that. A couple of you can die as you're running away. Alright. Righto. This is a clear victory. Nice. The Berserkers lost one, but I'm pretty sure that was to, to a tower. Oh no, no it's not. Uh, although I don't know if tower shots, no, I don't know if tower shots show up as friendly fire, um, because they they don't show up in the stats anywhere. See these ones here, this is archers, archer friendly fire, two and eighteen. I don't think towers actually show up as friendly fire, because they're just they're just an entity of of themselves basically. So forty nine for nothing. That was that was pretty that was pretty fun. Pretty fun to watch. So this is the spearmen. Spearmen against berserkers. Now the only advantage they would have is being able to surround with, you know, superior numbers. And they didn't have that. Have Look at this, we cleared all our glass sieges. Things are looking up. Ish. Ladris besieged. Goblins are going ham. Hopefully, it's not against me. Why don't attack me? My lord, you have a proposition for us. Give me eight hundred gold. Give me some. Give me some to work with here. There we go. Possibly Thank you, Kalamathar. But we'll accept. Good day. Appreciate it. Yes, stopping here. Go pay a visit to Cairn. Tomorrow's journey planned out. We got a general. But can you? Your oh, order, you can't make lord. it there. Are you yes, kidding? My lord. Your my lord. You can, but you can't. Yes, my lord. You don't even have governor's duties yet. There's a road between the two. You've even got three percent movement range from being a Frecklinger recruit. Um, so I'm gonna have to hide you in the trees midway across. A prime position to launch a cowardly ambush if need be. There you go. Right, we're working on. Oh yes, yes, we got free upkeep. Good. Excellent. Done. Larrick got a meeting hall. Working on a meeting hall in Byrig. Tanners, Duniard, meeting hall here as well, and a meeting hall here. It's, it's all coming together. Uh, you may as well merge with them. Now we got actual, like a decently large looking Rohan army. And a general is just sitting here waiting enemy. to die. We should pick him off. We should definitely kill him. The thing that always did irk you a bit about this two-handed sink kill is that you clearly see the weapon go through the enemy neck, but the head stays attached. You got you got to suspend disbelief. You got to suspend disbelief and uh, and just go with it. You know, you got to believe. Got to believe it's happening. Um, so we got a little bit of money. Thinking done, Larrick. I could get tannery. Can't get another tier of um, gar is it gathering halls? No, castle halls. 
Can't get another tier of that yet. Um, I'm just thinking I've got a chance to to do some building here. Although I don't have the money for it. For either one. Yeah, I think I, think I go for the tannery. Pretty good structure. Because that will then mean Tanner's Guild. Tanner's got a two Tanner's Guild and a Tannery. Can I get down in Bregnas? I don't think I can. Tannery, no, not available. So there is there is a resource that it must be attached to, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Like furs? Maybe it's furs. Maybe it is furs. So there's no furs here, and they can get a tannery. Lumber, iron, village. I mean, this is where, you know, this is imports and exports. Uh, hang on, this imports and exports. I don't know. There must be a resource that it is attached to. Just like the bees are attached to the, the, the aviaries are attached to the bee resource. You know, wineries are attached to the wine resource. There must be, must be something that does that. Um, I don't know what though. Uh, these two Isengard units, I kind of think I might just leave here. I will only address you in battle. Yeah, I might just leave them there, honestly. A little bit low, but whatever. Um, we will we will kill this general though before he gets any more troops. Let's quickly do that. Yes, my lord. Your will, my lord. run As away, of course. An honorable, glorious victory to battle. Attack! So we want the general to do most of the work. The only thing that we want to make sure is that his flank is protected. Okay. You gotta chase them down if they run away. Protect this flank. Imagine you'll come at us, yep. Yeah, nice volley. Good volley. Give me another one. They're going for the. They're going for the bandits. Of course they are. I oh know they're changing direction. Yeah, come on. Get the volley. Get the volley. Point blank. Excellent. Good stuff. Good stuff. And then the spears. They have lost half their men. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Attack! Where's the general? He's there still, he's fine. Take their blood. Set up. If we continue like this, they're gonna run out in a second. Him. When they do, we're gonna, we're gonna shoot him. Fire, fire, fire. Hold this flank. Took another one down. Go again, get another volley. Really? You guys... What's going on? He's not interested? Okay, we down. need to chase him. This guy might not be as exhausted. Okay. If you can get him, let him get away. Come on, let him get away. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Come on. Please. Otherwise, yes, got him. 
Could work if we saw them just cut the throat instead, but no, it goes all the way we through the entire neck in a clear slash maneuver. There's no way the head stays attached after that. Thankfully, it's the only unrealistic sink kill there is in the game, but all the others are rather believable. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it, Artaros. And I suggest that you make your peace with it as well. <laughs> from the enemy I mean I have to imagine I'm a general in Middle Earth so imagining no, that please, some other things happen is, is, is not a, a, a tremendous further step beyond that your orders my lord yeah, back in we go okay there's five right here I'm proving very important they've they've caught two caught two uh generals now very happy with that um, yeah, I would like to get the Master Masons here. Then we have some money. Let's see if we can get that going. Over here as well, I would like to get Militia military Garrison. But those are the two things I would like to build next. We, we won't queue up anything else, just the things that are already queued. And then yes, that'll be the, Lord. that'll be the next one, next ones we get. Yes. This mutt's moved. Just a minor irk on the game I overall love, so it's not a big issue, actually. Uh, you say that, but you've typed out two paragraphs explaining why it irks you. <laughs> anyway, that is going to be the end of uh, today's, today's episode. I think we've done pretty well. Like, where did we start today? We had... Oh, that's right, we were leaving Bregnus to burn to be a, a neutral blocker to defend against Gondor. Um, but we ended up getting Frecker's Bastion or Hornberg. We've renamed Frecker's Bastion. Um, and uh, I guess we've defended... Yeah, we've defended these two because we're pretty much, pretty much giving this up. The Goblins have declared war though. Gondor's declared war. Anabwyth is still at war with us. Rohan's at war with us. Bree's at war with us. Thankfully, they're not anywhere near us. Um... We currently have two safe territories. Everywhere else is a border. So we are in the thick of it. Um, so if you like me seeing me in the thick of it, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, and make sure that you send a lovely letter to King Yagthrak for still being alive and carrying an entire battle by himself. 1v1v1,000. One be, one be uh, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.